ど。どう Nintendo. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. I'm Bogus Meat Factory. Hi folks, how are you doing today? We're going to be doing a little bit more Animal Crossing this morning. Uh, I can't help myself. I've got a problem. Just can't control it. We're on day four. Um, there is a possibility that we don't... We The stream ends suddenly. Uh, I got a knock on the door today by some uh, our power company saying, Hey, we're working on some stuff here. There could be a possibility to lose power. So just, you know, if it happens... Uh, just be prepared for that. Don't freak out. It's okay. And he's like, oh, okay. And he's like, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> like, all right. So let's get into the town. We have Astrid. We have to rank our villagers too today. We're going to be ranking our villagers. Um, all the ones that we have, all the ones we've met at least. Um, if any have moved or changed, because I did go visit um, a town. I visited a town yesterday. They asked not to stream it, and I totally respect that. Um... Uh, we visited a town called Bevin67, and I freaked out, because there's a person I know on Mastodon, a really good friend, um, and they were like, yeah, I, my friends and I started playing it in 2021, 2021, and we, um, we wanted, uh, we kind of fell out of it, but I think we might want to pick it back up again, but, like, you want to go visit the town? I was like, yes, I do, um, and so they gave me the save file, and... It happened to work, uh, thankfully, and I was like, I visited the town. I was like, wait, your town's name is Bevin67? I was like, I had to message the person immediately. I was like, is, th is this a Mist Online reference? Is this intentional? And like, yeah, we all met up in Mist Online in a pl uh, place called Bevin67. And, you know, all of us in a, that name just kind of stuck. And I was like, it's the best place ever. Ah, like I was so excited because uh, it was just really cool to be able to see that because um, I missed online and they had a they had a their town was named after it, which is really, really cool. And uh, so I got to see there. I got some cherries and um, I know that like when you visit a town, villagers leave. I te So technically, we may have lost two villagers. 
I don't know if we have or not. Hopefully not, but uh, we'll see. I had to visit twice because one was me checking to see if it worked. And then the second time was, um, and but like I didn't know that it was going to just put me on the train and go. I thought I was going to ask you like, hey, you, you want to visit this town, right? No, it was like, hey, do you want to go on a trip? And I was like, yes. Like, okay, see ya. Goodbye. And that was it. Um, so we'll see how it goes, but, uh, we'll see what, we, what we've lost, but we've gained a lot because I also got a fishing pole from their store. <laughs> they store had a fishing pole, so I was very happy about that. Um, yeah, bogus. We only have a few more days before we hand off the game to someone else. Um, yeah, today's Wednesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um, just four more days, and then I hand it off to, uh, I believe, Minty. Um... And we're going back into Renga. So yeah, it was really cool to visit the town because I got to see a bunch of folks, meet a bunch of characters. They had Lucky in their town, and I was very jealous. Oh, I hope that we get Lucky someday. Lucky is um, a dog that's a mummy. It's really weird. And uh, I dig it. And uh, what else? Um, <clears throat> their town theme song was the Exorcist theme, which was really wild. All right, let's see who's leaving. Oh, um, we're just gonna leave it like it is right now. Hold on. So first thing off, Mitzi says hi there. Decided to move, and I just wanted to thank you for everything you did for me and Renga. Really appreciate it, and I hope you come visit me from Mitzi in Bevan sixty seven. So Mitzi left. It stinks that Bob's neighbor left, and there's no longer neighbor cats. Signing Stan, welcome. I am doing well. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. So good to see you. So our, our so Bob lost his cat neighbor. Our two cats have been split. Um, but she went over to Bevan 67. Mitzia was kind of neutral on, so I don't mind her leaving so much. Um, and then we got our museum mail. Yeah, we got our little museum mail. Let's see. From home. My dear Bogus, we just got a new convenience store in town. Strangely, our village doesn't feel any more convenient. Your literal-minded mom. Moms, what do they know? Okay, so let's get our stuff open from the museum. The boss you recently sent us is a valuable triceratops skull in an excellent shape. We return this fine specimen to you and eagerly await any future uh, submissions. Present. Yeah, we've been doing Animal Crossing signing stand. It's been a blast. Um, because we're, we're doing it in a weird way. How did I know it without an announcement? I I announced it, Minty. I announced it in, in in Discord. What are you What are you talking about? Doing great things, lurking and working today. I heard so much about this game back in about 2020, but never saw it. Well, this is the original. This isn't New Horizons. This is the GameCube one. Um, I don't know. I don't I don't tag everybody on that stuff though, Minty. I don't tag everybody on that stuff. Um, let's see. And uh, we also have a few, we also have a, oh yeah, look at this, sorry. I was looking at the thing to see, like, oh yeah, I, I sent it. We're going to rate the villagers. I think we should do that now before we get in any further in case I do lose power. This may end abruptly. We have our categories for rating our villager. All right, our villagers. Anyone that we've met, Mitzi has left, Minty. Min, min, uh, Mitzi has left. She left for Bevan 67, the town I visited yesterday. Um, I went and cleaned out all their, their uh, weeds, too. That's okay. Mitzi I was neutral on. I'm kind of neutral on Mitzi. It sucks that Bob lost his, his neighbor, but, you know, it is what it is. So our categories are Ghibli Bibbler. Uh, five streak! Woo! Ghibli Bibbler is, they're, like, the best of the best. It's the S tier, right? They're bibbling my Ghiblis. They're the, the coolest. I think they're the best. Um, and then we have Too Cool for School, because they're just too cool for school. I mean, come on. You know this. You know this. They're too cool for school. Nice is our kind of mid-tier. Like, I like them, but not quite. Okay is just like, eh, I don't care. It's the neutral, like, eh, whatever. Dullard is like, they're dumb, but there's still something about them. Right? There's something about them. I don't like them, but they, they have something. A cool house, a cool style. I don't know. A cool catchphrase. Who knows? And then a fart sniffer. And we all know who those are. If you're a fart sniffer, you know who you are. They're the worst of the worst. They're the F class. They're the worst. So let's talk about, let's see, let's go, because we don't have all of these villagers. You know, we only have, we only have a couple. Three days, uh, four days. So I have it until Saturday. Yeah. Four days, technically. 
I don't know how that's going to... I mean, I guess technically, Minty, you get it a little bit longer. You'll get it later, but you have it a little bit longer. Yeah, because like it's Wednesday here. It's Wednesday at, uh, you know, 948. So I would say that like, you know, run it by our time. But you can you can turn it in when you can, you know, uh, like, uh, like like this time on, on I guess for you this time on Sunday, you would put this up, you know, for the next person, on your Sunday, your Sunday this time, um, yeah, that would I would like ex expect it, then. So yeah, anyways, let's go into this. So our first one is going to be what Astrid. Astrid. Astrid is a, a kangaroo with a bunch of stars who's very David Bowie-y. They have a, like a house full of um, uh, guitars and like a bunch of music and and a little bit of regal, but then also like a toxic waste barrel. Uh, they're snooty, which I don't like the snooty so much, but she calls me my pet. I mean, come on, no. They're too cool for school. They're not a Ghibli bibbler. They're almost, I love David Bowie. I love David Bowie. Like David Bowie is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, musicians uh astrid is really cool but they're not like they're not besties i'm not gonna be besties with astrid that's that's the thing is that like the i connect and like i would be sad to see them go as a ghibli bibbler astrid i love them to death and i think they're super super cool but i'm not gonna be sad if they leave <laughs> um let's see who's next we got what i think bob is next bob right because we have bob boots cookie so bob is here bob is our stoner cat um he's cool he's a he's a you know a purple male cat wearing a flower dress and he's stoned out of his gourd uh for us that's a that's a that's, he's a cool dude um i dig him i dig bob he's laid back thing though is he's kind of just nice like i'm not I'm not going to Bob to see what he has to say. You know, I dig him. I think he's awesome. But like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go and be like, hey, Bob, how are you today? I'm not gonna go save the primo stuff. Like, like if you were to say like, you get something, uh, a piece of furniture and you're like, oh, Bob would love this. What would that be? What would that be? Mm -hmm. Astrid, got a cool guitar. I got some regal flooring. Like, I got some stuff for you. Here you go. Like, I got things that you would like. An asteroid, a space shuttle. Let's get you into the stars. Bob? Mm hmm. What would I get Bob? No idea. So he's a nice. He's a nice. Um, And then we got what? Boots? Boots right now is too cool for school, but he might be a Ghibli Bibbler. I might love me some Bob. Or Boots. Sorry. Boots is one of my favorites. He's one of my favorites so far. We really attached to Boots. He's been giving me fruit like crazy. He's a head down, eyes up kind of guy. Jolly as all can be. Made me the coach of his swim team. And it's been a lot of work, I tell you. They're, they need a lot of work. It's not great. I mean, Bob is on the swim team. It's not It's not looking good. Look, the Renga, the Renga Swim Club is just... It's got problems. So I gotta like fix that. It's a big issue. It's a lot of responsibility, which also makes it why he's too cool for school and not a Ghibli Bibble right now. It's because he put on a huge obligation into my hands. I don't want to have to deal with that all the time. But you know what I do? Because I want to, you know, cultivate a, a a community of fitness and of bonding. So like, yeah, you know, Boots it gets it gets Bob and Boots bonded. But you know, it's a lot of work. It's only too much work. Um, so. <laughs> So he's too good for school. I don't know if we have a Ghibli Bibbler in our town yet. But that will change. These will morph and change as we play. As we play. Because those those storylines, they they morph. They morph. We we've, we've been building these head cannons for some reason. It's just it's just happening naturally. Um next up is what? Cookie? Where's Cookie? You cookie? Let me see. No, that's bones. Um Cookie. There's Cookie. Cookie's nice. We love Cookie. Cookie's a sweetheart. She's the nicest, nicest animal in our village. Um, and she's just chill and friendly. And like we dig that. She's nice. We like her. Like, she's just the sweetest thing. If anyone has anything bad to say about Cookie, like, what's what's your problem, man? What's your problem? She's got little starry eyes, she's got little twinkle eyes. And she's just 
she's just she's not snooty she's not mean she's just chill all she wants to do is just hang out and just like support people and that's nice we like cookie cookie's good um yeah because again like just like with bob i'm like what what do you get cookie oh something pink i don't know boots i know what he wants astrid i know what they want um let's see who do we got next um so cookie and then what fr uh frigga is the next hold on lobo frigga who else do we have i think it's just lobo and frigga all right yeah um let's look at lobo oh no mitzi mitzi mitzi's on here too so Frigga's next. She's here somewhere. Where are you, Frigga? Um, they don't have the name, so we have to kind of just look it up. So here's Frigga. You know how I feel about Frigga? It's an instant fart sniffer. The worst villager I may have ever come across in my entire life. Kakaloko says, you know, for a game called Animal Crossing, there's zero genetic manipulation in this game. It's not true, Kakalakola. And not in the first game, but in the second game and on, there is some genetic manipulation. Uh, you can, you can crossbreed flowers. <laughs> That's it. It's flower crossing is what it is. Uh, Frick is a fart sniffer. She's the worst. She's snooty. She's mean. She's dumb. And her catchphrase is, <laughs> it's birth. And so it's just, <laughs> sound. Crossbreed flowers, yes. Animals, no. I know, Kekulakola. I know. I know. Maybe that's what's going to be the next one. Animal crossing. Uh, the island of Dr. Moreau. I think so. <laughs> um, so Frigga's a fart sniffer. She's the worst. She's just mean to everybody. She's always the one that takes people's stuff. So when they have to go get it back, she gives it to somebody else. Or if she's missing something, she claims that somebody stole it. She claims that they stole it. Like, she's just the rudest. She's the rudest. She said that Cookie up and stole something of hers and like you would never do that frigga i know better frigga i know better um so yeah she's a fort sniffer she's the worst i can't wait for her to leave i hope she did no i don't hope she did one of my problems about visiting other people's towns is that our villagers will move there and i wouldn't wish frigga on anybody i hope she just leaves on her own accord because like i don't want her going to other towns she's she's too much of a too much of a meh. Um, then who do we got next? What we got Lobo next? You can force her out. Uh I don't want to be I don't want to do that now, Vinyl Minty. I don't want to stoop to her level. Alright? I'm not gonna hit her with nets. I'm not gonna sit her and put her push her into pitfalls. I'm not gonna be mean about it. I'm gonna call her a fart sniffer. That's what I'm gonna do, but uh outside of that, I mean I'm just, just not gonna give her presents. I'm just gonna you know, I'm not gonna help her. She wants help. I'm going to say no. Freaking no, I'm not going to help you. You are the rudest person on the planet. Got to be nice. Get your act together. Get your shit together, Frigga. You know, one of the perks of having a village full of animals is you can turn the worst into the worst. I don't want a penguin worst. Who wants to eat a penguin? You shouldn't eat penguins. They're very, they're very tough and leathery. It's not great. Um... Where's Lobo? Lobo is next. Um, oh, lo where are we in? Where are we in this list? Hold on. That is Octavian. Okay, so way back. Lobo. Donde esta Lobo? That's Jambet. Okay, so a little bit. Of oh, um, that's lucky. Are you? Look, Lobo, yeah. Lobo. Look. Lobo. He is he is a notorious art thief he has he has pulled off heists when we talk about lobo but one of the great things though is that he is he is an art aficionado he loves also he loves also the um you know the humanities he digs uh preservation of art he heisted a piece of artwork gave me a um a pop quiz and he offloaded this art on me really fast i think it was a problem of like hey the cops are on my tail copper and booker are sniffing around and it's a problem here take this painting 
you know what to do with it. I donated it to the museum immediately. Sent him a letter, said, look, you're in the clear. I donated it to the museum. And he was like, I'm really glad that somebody, you know, donates to the museum and that we've, you know, we've completed another display in the museum. Thank you, you know, and you better come and visit again. He's too cool for school. He's too cool for school. He is like the epitome of too cool for school. He's an art thief, but he's doing art thief for museums. I don't think he's taken it from um from the native uh the native country. He's taking it from private collectors who are assholes. He's he's Robin Hood in this. Okay? He's a Robin Hood in this. And uh yeah, he's too good for school, man. He's he's a he's a, a grumpy, like a, a mean villager, but like he hasn't been mean. He was like kind of a little grouchy in the very beginning, and then he, he instantly warmed up. Lobo's cool in my book. I think that's everybody, right? Let's see, hold on. So Mitzi. Oh Mitzi. We gotta do Mitzi. Duh. Huh. Ironic that I missed Mitzi. I wonder why that is. Maybe because Mitzi is so mid. Um, let's see, who are you? That's Kabuki. Are you Mitzi? No, you're a kitty. Are you Mitzi? You're Olivia. There's Mitzi. Here's Mitzi. Mitzi is just okay. Mitzi is the most <clears throat> like vanilla ice cream, but not even like, you know, that rare vanilla bean, that really good high quality vanilla ice cream. I'm not talking about like, hey, we run a dairy. We make our own ice cream. Here you go. She is just plain white milk. Kakalo says, nowadays, you're never quite sure. Lobo might look like a cool art aficionado, and then you find out he was running an NFT scam or something. That could happen, Kakalakola. That could happen. I'm not saying it won't. We'll find out when we get there. But right now, our initial impressions, you know, four days into this, too cool for school. Too cool for school. I think that's everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I think that's everyone. We have raided the entire town so far. Let's get our letters. Um, present. Oops. I did some fishing last night. So I, I played a little bit last night. Um, Katrina did come to the town. Um, and so she's here now. She she came when people were like, oh, she's there all day. No, she came at, at like nine o'clock at night, ten o'clock at night, and she'll I think she'll be here all day today. But um, she uh definitely was late in the day. Okay, let's get our other letters. I think it's more museum stuff. I think maybe no. Cookie, <gasps> hi bogus. You're gonna flip when you hear this, but I just moved to Bevan sixty seven. I know it's kind of far, but I hope you'll come visit Toodles by Cookie. That makes me a little sad. I liked Cookie. She was the sweetest thing, but it's okay. Mitzi. I, I sent a letter to Mitzi when I visited the second time. <clears throat> I read your letter. It was charming, just like you. Please come see me again before I decide to move off to another village. Sorry about my handwriting from Mitzi. Mitzi, it's perfectly okay. It's a font. It's the same font we all have. We all have the same handwriting, Mitzi. It's fine. It's fine. And then the HRA. Your current layout earns 4,912 points. If we may say so, your house is quite spacious. It's up to you whether you expand it again. April 3rd, 2024. Thank you, HRA. Let's see anything else going on. Ooh, join us April 5th. That's that's in two days. Two days? So that'd be Friday. Okay. Um, April 5th to the 7th in the Wishing Well Plaza for the Cherry Blossom Festival. Come join us for this lovely celebration of spring. So... Tomorrow morning is a big Animal Crossing stream as a scheduled one in the daytime. Might have to do one on Friday morning too then to see the cherry blossoms. Might have to. So yeah, she's gone. Ooh, but we have someone new. Um, yeah, so we got Frigga, Bob, Boots, Astrid, Lobo, and Maple. Maple's a squirrel. We'll see. We'll see. We'll meet Maple. I think she's a squirrel, right? I think she came from the other town. 
but she's she's again pretty I think she's a Mitzi replacement we went from white bread to white bread the octopuses yeah the octopuses there's like oh we don't want the octopuses just because they're rare doesn't mean we want them we want people that are gonna fit in with the vibe of our community that's all hey Tom how's it going buddy I'd like to sell I want to sell my bass. We got Triceratops Skull, Dinosaur Track, and Trailer Bed. Okay. Um, we'll sell these, please. 920 bells. We want the people we like. We're not here to collect villagers. If we want to collect villagers, we'll play New Horizons. Oh no, Vital Minty, I want everything to happen naturally. If people leave, they leave. If if that's the case, that's the case. If they want to go, I'm not going to control them. I do not have those control issues. If there's someone I truly love and they want to go, if you truly love someone, you let it, set them free. You just let them go. You know? I won't I won't uh I'm not going to micromanage them. Are you kidding me? Let me tell you this. Sunday, Tom Nook. Raffle day, last day of the month. No buying, no selling. Sorry, store, uh-uh. Monday, shovel. Tuesday, shovel, axe. Wednesday, shovel, or sorry, axe, shovel. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm gonna buy another axe, because mine's gonna break. I, I'm gonna do a little bit of pruning on the trees. But it's not anything crazy. Um, the pruning of the trees is going to be like strictly with like they have big bunches of like three or four together, and I'm like I'm just gonna cut that down in half, you know. But I did get a cherry, so like there is some positive here. I did get cherries yesterday, and I did get a fishing pole from the other store, so we have a fishing pole. Um, we gotta go talk to... Hey, Bob, what's up, buddy? Hey, you know, Focus, you got one unusual name. I mean, it's just plain unusual, man. <laughs> I've been thinking about that since, like, early yesterday. <laughs> yep. Doesn't make me some kind of freak, does it? Bob, you are a freak. So what do you need from me? <laughs> just hanging, dude. Focus, I wouldn't have guessed it, but you're actually pretty cool. <laughs> I know I'm possessed you, but you wrote me a letter. You're probably just trying to make me feel better because nobody ever writes me anymore. Well, it worked, man. I wrote you one too, so don't forget to check your mailbox. <clears throat> Thanks, Bob. Yeah, he wanted me to write him a letter. Can I help out? This has something. Wait a minute. No. Yes, not, nah, man. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm sorry about Mitzi, by the way. It's kind of quiet and lonely over here. I hope that you get a neighbor soon and that they like you. Morning for you. Can't stand her. Golden Axe is unbreakable, yeah. Hey, good morning. Woo, bogus. You're an early riser, aren't you? Oh, yeah, Chompy. I'll let you in on something. I have a hunch something good's gonna happen today, Chompy. Well, it's a good feeling. Give me an oh, yeah. Woo, Chompy. Oh, yeah. Anywho, probably want something, don't you? So, what is it? What's new? Bogus, I'm broke. Chompy, B-R-O-K-E, broke. Lend me some money. Not just kidding. Borrowing cash goes against my code, Chompy. So instead, will you buy this cala caladium for a... Yeah, sure, dude. What is a caladium? Thanks, Bogus. Yeah, dude. You made me stop scrunching around the dump thanks to you, Chompy. Yeah, dude. I'll, I don't know what a caladium is, but I'll take it. We'll look at it in the house. Do you need anything done today, buddy? Yo, Chompy and who? You probably want something, don't you? So what is it? Hey, Bogus. You know oh, yeah, he wants bugs. That's right. Yeah, he wants me to catch a bug. I can't catch one. I don't have a net boots. I'm sorry, buddy. No, no, uh, no netto. All right, so we got to go around. All right, where are we at? Let's go talk to Astrid. Hi, Astrid. Okay.
Okay, okay, I hear you, my pet, and I ask that you please lower your voice a few decibels. I didn't sleep well last night, and I've got a splitting headache like you wouldn't believe, my pet. Oh, the horror of it all, lack of sleep is the arch enemy of beautiful skin, you know, my pet. By the by, did you need something, my pet? Entertain me. Hey, Bogus. I like to keep myself abreast of the latest news, you know, all the important stuff, like who's dating who, and who's mad at who, and who's well... You get the idea. Did you ever notice that stuff? Yeah, totally. Of course you do. Who doesn't? I'm sure you're just dying to know what's going on. Yeah, you'll never be as popular as me. Heard something else really interesting. Oh, we she has said this before. She talks about Pete and Pelly. Should Pete and Pelly get together? Someday, Astrid. No, it's never gonna happen. I think he's dating uh Phyllis. Can I help you? Focus, do you like Oh, she wants flowers. I love looking at gardens, but I'm not too fond of the actual gardening part of gardening. You understand? How could anyone except m expect me to wallow about in the mud? I'd get dirty, my pet. Dirty work is for peasants. I do wish someone else would build a garden for me. That would make me quite happy, my pet. For you, Astrid, anything. You name it. It's yours. Lobo's out and about. Oh, where are you at, Lobo? He's up here somewhere, isn't he? Lobo, what's up, dude? Is it really necessary to make such a racket, Surly? Why are you so bright and bouncy, Bogus? Okay, fine. Good morning. There, I said it all nice. Is that better? Happy now? What are you, the darn make sure morning's good, police? Oh, get a life. So then, oh, why are you here? I'm bored. So that's been bugging me lately. You probably noticed this yourself, but I say a rule every now and then. Oh, see, I can't stop. To be honest, it's really getting to me. There's got to be something else I can say. Think of something, will you? No, that's fine, dude. What good are you? Still not. I think about it. Cause it's not all that bad. I'll just keep plugging away with oh for a little longer. Oh, yeah, dude, you're good. You're good, Lobo. Why am I so tired in the mornings? Oh, hey, why are you even talking to me? Can I help you? All right, listen up. I need you to get over to Astrid's place, pronto. That's where you'll find a comic book. It's mine, of course. It's been borrowed for some time. I'm sure you know the type. I'll bring it right back. But two years later, Nana, absolutely pathetic. Two years later, dude, she just moved in like yesterday. The more I think about it, the more worked up I get. Anyway, while I squash my rage, can you get it for me? Of course, dude. Okay, that's all I have to say. Get a move on. Dude, Lobo, I got you. You acquired me a painting. I can acquire you a comic book. Oh, Bogus, you can't get enough of me, my pet. By the by, did you need something? I never meant to keep it for long with my busy social schedule. I just never had a chance to return it. Okay, here it is, Lobo's comic book. Please apologize for me, okay? I have a reputation to keep. You've heard my request. Run along now, my pet. Yeah, right? It's like, yeah. Frigga's in in involved somehow. Morning, Bogus. In fact, same morning as last time. Oh, so then, why are you here? Delivery. Oh, it's finally back. My comic book is finally back. Guess I really owe you one for this. Thanks. Your big help. Say, you write letters, don't you? Need some stationery? Sure would be nice if you wrote me some or something. Dude, of course I'll write you, dude. Say this one last time. Thanks. If I have more stuff to do, I'll be asking you for help. Again, okay, be ready. Right, let's go turn in our stuff. Yeah, turn in our fossils. Who? Oh, dog? What time is it? I'm so very sleepy. Oh dear me. A thousand parts. So terribly sorry. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a night um, owl. Yes. Yes, well, by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? Who? Who? I say splendid. What? No doubt priceless item might you have for us today. I got you a trilobite. There you go, dude. Well, what do we have? Who a trilobite, if I'm not terribly mistaken. Yes, yes, a very nice indeed. This is quite a beautiful specimen as well. Quite, you're to be congratulated. Well then, where to begin? Uh, trilobites, uh, yes. Uh, trilobites were hard-shelled segmented arthropods which populated the Paleozoic Seas long before dinosaurs existed. There were over 15,000 species of known trilobites, and more are discovered each year. What, what? This makes them the single most diverse group of extinct organisms ever. Amazing! Truly remarkable, you know? They are, however, extinct. No living descendants whatsoever. The constant perils of nature are quite formidable, indeed. Who? I... 
So sorry, old bean. Uh, allow me to par beg your pardon. I've been running off at the beak again. I tend to do that. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. I'm not giving him an English accent. I know we should. Not doing it. Might there be anything else you wish to donate? He just really likes Brit uh, British colloquialisms. Who? Who, I say, splendid. What? No doubt, priceless item. What you have for us today? Have a dinosaur track. Who, I say, who? Woohoo! A fossilized footprint. Looks like some paleontology is afoot. Hoo hoo hoo! But truly, this is quite an earth shaking find. I've never seen a specimen that can match it in beauty. The distinct three toed foot tells us that this is the print of a theropod from perhaps the Jurassic period? At what? It's impossible to discern anything more specific, but speculation is free and a vital part of paleontology. Imagine a terrible carnivore stalking its prey, its great weight pressing down onto the earth, and voila! History! Who? Aren't I the blather? I beg your pardon, please. I do hope I didn't put you into a comatose state. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Yes, let's see. One more. Triceroskull. Who? Who, I say? A triceroskull! The day the remaining pieces of our prehistoric puzzle are found will be a joyous one indeed. Good luck to you. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Okay. Let's go see our... our... Or fruit of our loins. Your support is greatly appreciated. Truly it is. I earnestly hope we can count on your continued patronage. Yep, look at the dinosaur track. Draw the bite. And Triceratops skull. Cool. And we have the perfect painting. One might say it's perfect. Alright, so we gotta go talk to our new person. New person talk time. Let's go see Maple. Where's Maple at? Maple's here somewhere. Oh, it's a bear. Oh, she's a cutie. Good morning. Hey, wait a second. Do I know you, honey? I don't. No. We haven't met. Well, I'm Maple. Are you going to stand there all day, or are you going to tell me your name? Bogus? What a nice name. It has a pleasant ring to it. Nice to meet you. Fried rice, how are you, dude? Hey, Bogus, so what can I do for you today, honey? I'm bored. Bogus, which do you like better, eating or sleeping, honey? I like both. I've answered this question before. I like both. What? Both at the same time? Oh, I thought you meant... Still, that's a very unusual answer. Well, they're both pretty important to our lives, aren't they? I can see why it would be hard to say which one you prefer, honey. How are you doing, fried rice? What are you up to today, my friend? Lots of hearts. Oh, shoot. I wanted to ask if you need any help with anything. We were just in time. Here, can you take this glasses case over to Cookie? Cookie's not here anymore. She wanted to borrow it for a little while, but then Cookie moved. I have no idea where. Isn't it strange for someone to just pack up and move like that? I don't even get to say goodbye. You're probably busy and all, but do you think you can do this for me, honey? I'll handle it. It's going to have to go in storage for a minute, but I will... I will get it back. I'm positive that I'll be able to see that person's town again. Someday. Um, okay, so let's go store our stuff. And then we'll head over, uh, save our game, because I may lose power. Putting together Ikea shelves today. Ikea shelves, what kind? Do they have drawers in them? Or are they just, like, bookshelves? That's the real question. How complex of an Ikea shelf is it? Got a letter too from Bob. They're just the billion. Okay, then yeah, you're fine. You're gonna have a great time. Enjoy that. That sounds like fun. Uh, drop. What is? Oh, it's a plant. Okay, it's a plant. We're fine. I don't want that flamingo anymore, but you know what? It's fine. What do I got? Um, orange chair. Lovely table. Oh, shoot. About five of them? Oh, that's not too bad at all. Alright, um, what does the lovely table even look like? Let's just look at it. Oh, it's a t it is a lovely table. I don't think you can put things on top of things in this one. Can we? Oh, we absolutely can. The journal. Hello? Certain things on top of desk. Can we put like the bonsai in there? 
Yeah, there we go. So fried rice. So we're playing this a little differently. And by the way, if you're ever interested and more than inclined uh, to join us, um, I'm doing this where I play this for a week. I pass it off to my good friend Vinyl Minty, who will play it for a week. Who's gonna? Don't. <laughs> I Luke sir, thank you for that redemption. Um uh I hand it off to uh Vinyl Minty who then plays it for uh, a week and then hands it off to Coding in Quarantine who play it for a week, then hand it off to my dearest friend Keyglyph, you know and love Keyglyph, um, who plays it for a week and then hands it back to me in this four week rotation. Grab. And the thing is, we are encouraging folks if you play this on Dolphin Emulator. If you want to, if you have a Dolphin emulator and you want to be a part of this, yeah, we'll each have our own villager. Yeah, the four the four different uh, houses. You can make a town uh, if you play the um, the North American Animal Crossing. Make a town. You want to share your memory card with us? We can go visit your town because they intermingle. The villagers here, um, one villager will move to yours for every visit, right? And they carry with it, of course, their memories of us, of our town, our letters, all of those things. So you actually get, and we might get one of yours, and sharing those things, kind of an inter, an intermixing. But also other special events happen by visiting towns. Um, so, hey, Bogus, the letter you sent me was the most uplifting thing I've ever received. Please send more. I'm waiting, man. I'll be crashed in bed until then, your friend, Bob. <laughs> what you get me, Bob? What you got? Yes. I'd be down, but daughter has been getting me back in Animal Crossing on Switch. Don't want to burn out an Animal Crossing. That I understand. Oh, an ornate rug. I'll take it, dude. So we have visited a town before, not on stream. They asked not to, um, because they had other. They they had played with a bunch of friends, and you know, and they're like, well, we can go visit our town, but like they have moved on, and I don't want to, you know, uh. You know, having to share stuff that they may not be comfortable doing. So, like, just play it on your own. It's like, okay. Um, which is totally fine. Alright, so I'm going to store so many things. Oh, I can't even put that in there. So, I have to keep... I can put that in a letter, I think. In a, in a letter thingy here, so I can take care of it. Um, let me take the ornate rug. Nice display. And I can put the other things in my letters. So at the age where she can actually start to play some, but 90% of the time she'd rather watch me play. Um, do you mind me asking how old she is? How old is she? I had a proud father moment and walked away for a minute. Came back and she had done a couple battles in Mario RPG on her own. Three and a half. Nice, dude. Yeah, my um my youngest, she's she's uh just turned six and she just started wanted to start playing. Um, so she, her, she's playing, um, the Switch one. My oldest made a town for me to play with her. So, like, we, uh, we did that yesterday. So I just moved, I'm playing a, the GameCube Animal Crossing on, um, on a different town, on a different save with her. Which I don't know. That's going to be me and her. And, um, she's, she's eight, but she's loving it. She's digging it a bunch. Okay. So that's what I got going on right now. Let's save, because I may lose power any minute. <laughs> but just be prepared for that. It's a possibility. It does get mixed up on which letters X and Y at times, though. Of course, everybody does. I don't blame her. I get mixed up on which buttons X, X and Y. Come on now. Or did, no, save and continue, Bob, my boy. I'm going to do some fishing. I got to check on the, the trees I planted. I planted some cherry trees. We have um, uh, pears growing and oranges growing, too, as well as coconuts. One of our coconut trees didn't make it, but I, I get it. Um, let's see. Did this did this cherry tree make it? This cherry tree made it. All right. We're going to get some cherry trees. So we got cherries, pears, peaches as our native, and oranges. Ooh, there's some stuff here. Um, what do we got? What oh, parasol? Nintendo parasol. Pfft. 
Sure, sure. I'll take it. I'll give it to somebody. I'll give it to somebody. Let's see what this looks like. Let's keep it. It's airy. Let's do some fishing. Let's do some fishing. Let's make some bells, finally. Oh. The ball. Sorry, ball. Oh, let's, oh, let's check on the other trees. Oh, so that cherry tree didn't make it. This is an orange. This is a pear. That's a cherry. But I have another cherry growing, so, like, I'm okay. One of the cherries made it. Now, with this Animal Crossing, they don't make fishing sounds. Like, they don't do the bobber sounds. They don't. They're silent. You gotta figure that out. Alright, so... Blink. I don't get why the villager has horns. It's hair. It's hair. They have said it is hair just sticking out your hat. Um, because the girl has little hair as well that sticks out the sides. Oh, jeez. It is hair, yep. Nintendo confirmed that it is not horns, it is hair. Ooh, sea bass. Cut a sea bass! Sea bass! I want to keep saying things like that. We're going to see a lot of those. Oh, I should get my fortune teller told by Katrina. See if I get good luck. Let's do that. Hey, Astrid. What's up? Yeah. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Yeah. Ta -ta -ta. You wish to give me to give you a reading for the mega price of 50 bells? Read my fortune. Then let us begin. Kiha moata, kiha moatata, lota matata. I am through. On a chessboard, a blushing pop star will be eating noodles. That's what I see. Ah, I see. Very interesting. You'll be very busy in the coming days, yes. Or not. No matter how you feel about this matter, it will rule you. It's no use trying to avoid eye contact, so you should just accept your fate. It's up to you whether you interpret this event as good or bad. That is all. I will now take your 50 bells. So, I think that's just a... Eh, nothing's changed. It's... it's this is normal. <laughs> oh, it's you, Bogus. Ah! Hold on a moment. Why do you look so fabulous? Did you visit a spa? Astrid, you doing good? You good? My it's you again? Yes, my pet. By the way, bye. Did you need something? Just hanging. Could I ask you for some advice? I'm thinking about going on a picnic with my boyfriend next week. And I thought I'd bring some bagels and steamed milk with us. What do you think? Is that a good combination, my pet? That sounds delicious. Fried rice? Anka is in this version, and now I know a lot about you, Fried Rice. <laughs> She's in this version. She's just uh, the island, one of the island villagers. One of the island villagers. You only get one, and it's one of eight, I think. And she could be one of them when you go to the tropical island. We have... Um, the Latin lover. Uh, I can't think of his name. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Oh, he's not on that list. That sounds delicious. You have such refined taste. Only the truly sophisticated can enjoy this delicate harmony of flavors. Sitting in the sun, drinking a nice steamed milk, eating bagels. What bliss, my pet. I'm certain my boyfriend will appreciate all my work, too. He's my very real boyfriend. Ah, I wish I'd go on the picnic today, my pet. I'm on to you, Astrid. Oh, Bogus, how nice. I wanted to see you so very much. Oh, Astrid is following me around now. 
Oh, Bogus, how nice. I wanted to see you very much. Oh, hello, Bogus. You aren't mad at me, right? Please don't hate me. Best friends forever, right? Oh, I'm cursed. Hey, would you care for an encore of that song I was just singing? Okay. All right. Excellent. Here goes nothing, my pet. She's a rock star. She knows how to sing. How would you say that was? Rather impressive, no? I have never seen that in my entire time playing Animal Crossing. Don't ask me to sing it again, though, because I doubt I'd remember it, my pet. Okay, I, got, I gotta go, Astrid. I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't mess with these supernatural forces. This is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem now. I, I pushed the limits. I went too far. Oh, sea bass. Only sea bass so far. It's an oops all sea bass day, I guess. Now, Astrid is obsessed with me. This is a problem. She has a child. She has a boyfriend. Like, I'm not getting into this drama. Astrid, Astrid, you gotta chill, right? You have, you've made your choices. You can't. Oh, I didn't even see that. Sorry, was a, what was it, a loach? I apologize, I skipped that a little too fast. I'm not, I'm not doing that, Astrid, right? We ain't doing that. I'm not playing that game. You have a child. I'm not going into this, um, you know, uh, unstable relationship situation. Oh my gosh. Come on, fish. Fish. No, not up. Go down. Damn fish. There we go. Ah! I can't catch anything for the life of me. I'm doomed. And now Astrid's obsessed with me. I've creeped out. one of those things that she was too cool for school and now she's just kind of kind of a dullard don't know how I feel about this she was given the, the heavy you know step on me mommy vibes and now she's like desperate housewife vibe and that's not that's not good wrong with me. So many sea bass. I forgot there's so many sea bass in this. It's like it's the most common fish. I'm just gonna catch sea bass all day. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go along the riverbed after this. Uh, riverbank after this. We'll just catch one here because I think they respawn every screen. Once you move the screen they come back. Maybe maybe not. There we go. They respond a lot quicker than in other Animal Crossings, that's for sure. Ah, uh, oh crap. I caught a loach! You don't suppose it's Hillian, do you? A Hillian loach? I... Is that a fish you catch in... In, uh... Zelda? What would it be? Um... There wasn't fishing in... Was there fishing in Majora's Mask? It had to be Ocarina of Time, right? Oh my god, the poorly uh, placed... Pond fish! I'm gonna have to... Oh, jeez. The power is... is the power may, may go off in a minute. And all of Astrid's obsessions will disappear. It's an Ocarina of Time reference. Got a pale chub. Looks like it could use a little sun and a little diet. It's your fourth entry into the fishing thing. A loach spawns. Apparently also gives an item. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yo, boots. 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 Don't get obsessed with me, okay? Don't be like Astrid. Don't get desperate. You're cool. You go You go play with that butterfly. You chase that butterfly, you run around and get that fish. Are you going to clap for me when I catch it, though? Does he clap? 
does. I got a goldfish. It's worth its weight in fish. Great. Dude, thank you. Thank you. He clapped for me. We're bros. So I was learning that like um the the Japanese um GameCube one, so like they they had the Nintendo 64 one, right? We made the GameCube one and added stuff to it. And so then they made a normal small bass. Now I just need to catch a small bass amp. Base amp. Wow. Oh, that was terrible. It was terrible. Um and so they kind of did a Japanese version, just a version of this one. And then they did a plus one, E plus. And so it has features from like Wild World in it, where villagers talk to each other, um, and they'll run up and talk to you. Uh, and um, there's some other stuff too. Focusing on my fishing. So many loaches. I don't know how much the loach goes for. Let's start making our way up to nooks. Uh, so yeah, they they would uh, talk to each other, and they would run up and talk to you. And I do think they visited. I think they did the house visits too, which is kind of cool. I love that stuff. There's like people working on a fan translation, but the problem is that, look, you can't. You can't with Animal Crossing. And I knew this from the start that you couldn't. You can't do a fan translation of the Japanese Animal Crossing. It's not possible. Cut a barbel steed. That's funny. Looks more like a fish than a horse. Because, um... Because... The keyboard and the language recognition. Right? Like, you can change the words all you like. But you can't change the coding within which they understand language. No, Frigga. No. Oh, bogus. Oh, nice. I wanted to see us so very much. Get away from me, Frigga. Get away from me, Frigga. This is a curse. Katrina cursed me. This isn't a blessing. She made all the ladies like me. This isn't okay. I want a refund, Katrina. I want my 50 bells back. Please. Oh, shoot. Yes. Uh, no, I gotta take the boot to the, to the dump. If I add a lot, my price comes to 3,280 bills. You'll sell you. Oh, shit. Yes, I am dumb. I, well, I should probably, I should probably, I've donated the sea bass and the loach. Um, and I think the pale chub. I haven't done the goldfish. I should donate the goldfish, because I think that's a rare one. First comes to 1,980 bells, yeah. yeah. Not rare, rare, but you know what I mean. I gotta buy these flowers for Astrid. Yeah, we'll head on over in that direction. We'll go left of the river. And, um, catch up along the way. And then, uh, donate stuff to the, um, museum. Here it comes. It's weird. There's no sound. Like, you have to really focus. Because, like, in previous Animal Crossings, um... I would absolutely just kind of do it by sound. Like, I wouldn't even have to look. Like, I would just listen. It was just easier for me. I wouldn't have any false... Like, you get you get real antsy, like, really, really trigger-happy when you... If you're looking. And so, when you have to rely on sight now instead, it's really easy. I caught a Christian carp! Carpe diem! Oh, my God. Where's lip? Where's lip for these? Where is lip for these puns right now? I'm 
just around the river bend. Oh god, I didn't go anywhere. That's bad. It's a bad cast. There we go. Loach. So many loaches. Oh, oh, we got a big boy. It's gonna be like a black bass or a, a carp or something. Yeah. Marble steed. It's funny. It looks more like a fish than a horse. All right, dude. All right, dude. We get it. We get it. We get it, villager. You're a funny guy. Are you sure we're not an adult dad? Christian carp. Carpe diem. Yeah. Are we sure we're not an adult dad? Hi. Oh, Bogus. I just can't believe I'm talking to you. I feel so honored, honey. Oh, my heart's pounding. There's no way I'm going to fall asleep tonight. Maple. Good morning, honey. But tell me, Bogus, what do you want, honey? It's new. Hey, Bogus, what do you usually do with the bugs and fishes you catch around here? Obviously, you can sell or release the ones that are easy to catch, but if you catch one that's really rare, you should take it to the to bladders at the museum. That way I can go see it. And so can everyone else. You'll be improving culture. Count on you, Bogus. Don't let me down, honey. Oh, my God. Maple. Maple. Your southern bell charms will not work on me. Luke says, hello there, Bogus. How's, animal, how's the Animal Crossing going? It's going fantastic. How are you, Luke, sir, by the way? Uh, it's going well, except for all the ladies are obsessed with me and now are stalking me. How nice. I wanted to see you so very much. Astrid. Stop. I got your, I got your flowers. Let's get right to the point. What can I do for you, my pet? Oh, I gotta plant them. Okay, hold on. Just let me plant the flowers, please, Astrid. Paleo Metal Gear Rising this week. How is that? That is, I hear that is a very fun game. You're the type of person who enjoys frolicking around the mud, aren't you, Bogus? I bet you just sleep at any chance to get properly dirty, don't you, my pet? You have that look about you. You know, gardening, yes, it's really quite a lot of fun, and it builds character, you should give it a try. Grand idea, since I hate getting dirty, you can fashion me a garden, my pet. That we can enjoy the delights of gardening, and don't have to get dirty, my... I, I, I plan to do two flowers. Oh, guys, stop talking to me. Yeah, I know. I know, Astrid. I know. I hear that, um, Metal Gear Rising is insane amounts of fun. I had people are like, the story is batshit crazy. Great soundtrack. Amazing gameplay, and uh, and it's her favorite Metal Gear game because it's not Metal Gear. I know you're sleepy, Blathers. I'm gonna, I'm coming to give you a goldfish, my friend. Indeed, woohoo! A goldfish, I believe. Those adorable little fins, those huge googly eyes. Uh, even I'm helpless in the face of their cuteness. We'll take special care of this precious fellow. Welcome to your new home, you little darling little fishy. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. That's it, my dude. Um, yeah, I uh, Metal Gear Solid was a game franchise, even though I know that that Rising is not the same, even remotely. But like, uh, I couldn't get into Metal Gear at all. Like I've, I sucked at the game. I loved stealth games, but I kind of grew up with um, Thief and uh, Splinter Cell and like those types of stealth games. And this wasn't that at all. And I just couldn't get the hang of it. And I tried and I tried for like years. I'd always revisit it like almost every year. Like everybody tells me this is like one of the greatest franchises ever. And I think this stinks. Like I can't play this. Um, and so I kept trying and trying and trying, and then one year, it just clicked. See, this is what I'm talking about when I use visual, visual things, like I can't, I get tricky, trigger fingers. Um, and then it clicked, and I was like, no, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is great. And then I played Metal Gear Solid 2, and I was like, this is not clicking. This is not, 
this isn't great. This isn't working. This isn't working for me. And uh, cause it's like, oh, well, you know, Metal Gear Solid 1 worked, so 2 should work. It didn't. And I'm like, I'm gonna have to revisit it again, like every year and keep trying and keep trying. And uh, I didn't have Metal Gear Solid 3, so I completely skipped that one. Didn't have 4, completely skipped that one. Had a really good sale on uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. And I was like, you know what? I hear this one's really divisive amongst people. I'm going to try it and see. And that one clicked so hard for me. I was kind of, I was kind of, went kind of nuts on Metal Gear Solid 5. I loved it. It was so good. I have to stream it at some point because I never played it on the PC version. And I have the PC version because it was a... Um, it was like $5 on a sale. Oh my God. It was like $5 on a sale. I can't catch a fish for the life of me. And, uh, what's great about that one is that you get to have custom like music and stuff. And so like I have recordings of my good friend, Nick, who I'll be streaming tonight with, if we have power, um, Spellcasting 101, which is a graphical text adventure game. And, um from Legend Entertainment and Steve Moretzky, who made um, Planetfall, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the game, um, and such. And um, I have a bunch of recordings of him singing, because he just, he sings nonstop. It's just a person, like, that's just what he does all of the time. Um... Yes, I caught a part knife jaw. I'm really caught up over how to turn that into a pun. Um, and so I'm going to like when the rescue chopper comes in to 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 extract you, like it's gonna be him singing a shanty. The music that it's gonna play is gonna be him singing a shanty. And like distraction. I have uh so you can have like distraction music that you can play to distract enemies. And I'll just have, I have recordings of him just talking about, because he's an archaeologist, he's an archaeobotanist. He's a giant dork. And I just have recordings of him just ranting about archaeobotany. And, um, so that way that'll distract the guards. And I think that's just really funny to me. They're just like, what was that? And it's just Nick going, you know, the thing about archaeobotany is, the thing about sherds. Come on, fish, cooperate. You want this thing. You want it. It's a tasty bobber. There's no bait on it. Just take it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. That at least you now know that I'm struggling to catch you. So you moved for me. Just get a little closer, dude. There we go. Again. Red snapper, baby. That was a snap. Let's chop some really have to stop trying to say these things, man. I gotta stop with these puns. The luck is on my side now. My luck has changed. My luck has changed. Yeah, we're getting rid of all of our crappy fish. My luck has changed. A barred knife jaw and two red snappers in a row? Like... That's huge. That one threw me for a loop. That was me. Bar numbers are worth. I know they are. They're worth five thousand. They're worth five thousand. That's a lot. That's a lot of bells. The red snappers are three thousand, I think. Right? Since my loan is like. Please don't lose power right now. Please don't lose power right now. I've been a good boy. I've been a good boy. I'm going to sell myself and then save just in case it does. I have been a very good boy. I have been a very... My pockets are full. Yeah, yeah. The garbage stuff's going out. Sorry, Seabass. You're, you're leaving. Sorry, goodbye. Yeah. I have been a very good boy. I think that Katrina... No, no, sorry, Katrina. I don't want to refund. Those ladies can stalk me. That's fine. I'm getting great fishing right now. I 
I think it's Katrina. It's Katrina. I'm a believer now. Cookie was right. Cookie was right. Shit. There we go. Cookie was right though. I'm not at oh, one sea bass. One sea bass. How many barred knife jaw? I got one barred knife jaw and, and uh, four red snappers right now. And, like in a row. In a row. Thirty-seven. Cookie was right. I gotta let her know that she was right, and I'm sorry for doubting her. No, Lord, Lord, Lord! Oh my God! Yeah, swap it, swap it, baby, swap it. What? Get rid of this! Oh, there's a boot in my pocket. Shit! I didn't drop that off. Um, let's get rid of the. the yeah. This isn't right. This isn't right. This isn't right. This is not how this game is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a lot of a lot of sea bass. Oh shit! Trigger finger. It's a lot of sea bass normally. So you know, this isn't normal. Ha! Ah. So this is like what my mom would do. Um, as an adult. Like, this game came out when I graduated high school. <laughs> Swap it out. Swap it out. Swap it out. Sorry, Pale Chub. You're going in. Are you saying you're all about the sea bass and not sea treble? Uh, no, I'm not about the sea bass at all. No, I'm all about the red snapper right now, baby. This is fucking crazy right now. Katrina hooked me up. Katrina hooked me up. Minty is losing their mind right now. Minty, you're losing your mind, aren't you? I'm losing my mind right now. I'm losing my mind right now. You're like, how the hell? That's not right. It's not right. Come on. No, 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 that's a bad cast. Maybe, 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 maybe? Nope. Okay, hold on. Take it far back. There we go. Where'd you go? Fish? Oh, you got real far out there. Oh my god. Think you can get it inside mine? I can get it inside Think you can get it inside mine? That's Think what the fish is saying. Inside mine? And guess Think what I'm you doing? Can get it inside mine? I'm getting inside yours, Craig. Think you can get it inside mine? Think you can get it inside mine? Think you can get it inside mine? I know I can. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need some mouth to mouth resuscitation in a minute. I I'm I am scared to leave this. I'm scared to leave this. Like I'm gonna drop that shovel and that axe and that boot where I let where it lays. Like. And I'm gonna put Everything. Everything. Into this. Holy smokes. Can't believe it. I can't believe it right now. I like how Patagonian Toothfish had to be rebranded as Chilean Sea Bass. Is that what it was? Chileans? You know, in Jurassic Park, I always... Holy shit! I always thought he said chili and sea bass. I had no idea what he was talking about. Chili and sea bass? Who would want fish chili? That sounds disgusting. And I thought that for so long. For so long, I thought he was talking about chili and sea bass. Oh, there we go. Um, and I had no idea he was saying Chilean sea bass. <laughs> or also known as Patagonian toothfish. Maybe they were talking about, yeah, Chilean sea bass chili. Yes, that's exactly what they were talking about. That's 100% what they were talking about.
Okay, okay. See, look, there you go. I stopped. Are you are you happy now, Minty? Are you happy now? Let it go. From the great wise words of Elsa from Frozen. Let it go. There, there she is. Two in a row, Minty, of sea bass. See? The curse is lifted. Look, we can go back to sea bass town. I am not lucky anymore. The 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 curse is gone. Uh, the curse is gone. The the boon has left me. It's lifted. Come on, come on, fish. Where'd you go? Oh shit! Sorry, fish. Sorry. Nope. Angle it. Poor angle. I'm gonna hit him in. I... Oh no. See it? You see it? Oh, too fast. Come on. Oh, turn it around. Come on. Oh, I got too. I got too antsy. I got too antsy. I really. I, I was going to like reel it in because I go, he doesn't see it, and then he saw it, and I was like, ah, oh, crap. This is a lot harder than the other ones, because like they will, like if they even just remotely catch a glimpse of this in their peripherals, they go nuts. And then you don't have sound. I'm sorry, Minty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to drop that boot. I'm pushing my luck, because, again, there's a possibility I might lose power. Today, because the energy company knocked on my door. We're working nearby, and there's a possibility you will lose power. I just had to, just had to drop some stuff. Three things, three more fish, and then I have to sell it, and then cry tears of happiness on stream. You'll see me cry tears of happiness on stream, because this is never in my entire life. Never been this lucky in my life. And I think that I've got to blame it on the fortune teller. Katrina did it. She did it. I don't know what she did, but it was it. It was it. It was fucking it. What is I oh I have things I need to do today, Animal Crossing. I was expecting to play this for like an hour. I had things to do. Okay? I drop a Dodge Stratus. My brain was thinking about this too, because like I hadn't played this since I was a youth, a young adult, right? And I like realized, like, oh, you know, the game isn't as hard or as grindy as people would like to think. As long as uh, if you use all the tools at your disposal. What I mean by that was like they have feng shui as a feature. They talk about it. Um, and um, and that increases your luck for things, right? A variety of things. And I'm guessing that like they intended you to use those features to help you improve your luck for things like fishing. So you can catch those rare things. I can't believe this. I can't fucking believe this. I've never in my life, never in my life, I gotta go all the way around. I, I'm scared. I'm so scared right now that the luck will fade as soon as I go sell this at Tom Nook's. What's your idea, Minty? Minty has an idea. What's your idea, Minty? Is it... I've been wanting to do an Ocarina of Time randomizer with another person since the mul there's multiplayer for it. Minty, I have never... I'm gonna confess to you. I've never beaten Ocarina of Time. I don't think I've ever made it to Adult Link. 
But I have beaten... I'll tell you the, the, the Zelda games I've beaten. I've beaten Zelda 1. I've beaten Link to the Past, my least favorite Zelda game. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, I've beaten Majora's Mask. I've beaten Link's Awakening. I've beaten Oracle of Ages. I've beaten Oracle of Seasons. I've beaten Minish Cap. I've beaten Wind Waker. I've beaten uh, 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 Twilight Princess. I've beaten uh, Breath of the Wild. I've beaten Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't beaten Ocarina of Time. Haven't even gotten far in Ocarina of Time. Have you beat Wanda Grand Cacalacola? I have the PC ports of those. The HD PC ports of those on my computer. I haven't beaten them yet, but they're there. I'd like to sell Tom. I'd like to... Oh, shit. Sorry, I'd like to sell Tom. You're gonna you're gonna see a payday unlike any other. Paddle up my price forty six thousand bell. Oh shit! I hit the wrong button. Cause I ah, oh. hurry up. Time's a waste, and I gotta save this game fast before everything falls apart. Forty six thousand bells. That is a um. That is a, uh, like a third of my, my stuff. Oh yeah, I have seen, um, Arzetta. Yeah, Arzet, sorry, Arzet, yeah, absolutely. I've seen a full playthrough of that game. It looks really awesome. Looks like a lot of fun. It's 11 o'clock. Oh, only one of our cherry trees survived this whole process. That stinks. That's fine. The one has survived. One will grow. Um, and I gotta get it to Boots. Boots wants a cherry. I forgot that too, and so like I, I planted all of them instead of giving one to Boots. My selfishness, my greed. It knows no bounds. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, they can't be directly next to each other. I put them in three very separate places away from all the other stuff. Like, I made sure to put them in very different places, but it just, it just sometimes doesn't work. And I don't have a watering can right now to help me with that. So, like, I think it just comes down to bad luck. That's why I planted all three, because I wanted to make sure that at least one stuck. And I believe it was the last one. Oh, it was the last one that I um, put in there. I planted. I tried to plant them all in the same place, but um, and because there's like a little niche in the left left corner over there, um, that's really like out of the way and like it's hard for somebody to go and uh, stomp around in there and like ruin it. That was kind of my go-to place for it, for putting the um the other trees. Like we have an orange one growing; it's almost done. We have a um a pear one growing, and um then we have a cherry one now that just started. So what do we need left? Apples, I think, is the last one, right? Oh, shit, I didn't think that would catch. Damn it. Um, and we have coconuts growing, too. We have two coconut trees growing. The third one didn't make, uh, take either. But, um, yeah, so it's just, uh, just apples, I think, in this one. There it is. The curse is lifted. The curse is the, the boon. The curse of good luck. How many how many sea bass? You you got it. You got what you wanted, Minty. Are you happy now? You got what you wanted. Broken bruised man. Forty six thousand of uh bells. And then nothing more. Nothing more. Your luck has faded, sir. Your age showing. But a husk of one's last for myself. This glassy eyed looks a barren soulless. Staring out into the sea, what do you see? Former glory? Fate? Or something far worse? 
I do not envy you such power. No. I pity you. Can I, can I please just turn a little bit, please? Thank you. Oh no, it's gonna go further out. Oh, that's right, that goes up and that goes down. I don't know where I am. Can I please catch this damn fish? fish again what is this what is this the fishing gods have forsaken me the fishing gods have forsaken me I am sorry my hubris knows no bounds I am sorry fishing gods what can I do what must I sacrifice to reclaim such things do you need me to kill I will kill those skull those snappers I will kill for those knife jaw who Honey, they just got here. Maybe no one knows her. Maybe, maybe, maybe she's just she's gone now. I going to cut a fish. This fish doesn't want my 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 bobber. You don't want my bobs? There. You fish, you didn't want my bobs. You didn't want my bobs. I'll do it, honey. Gone. Name your price. Fish gods, name your price, fish gods, and it will be yours. Lobo? He's just a hobo. You think I haven't blackjacked a hobo at some point in time in my life? Fish gods, huh? You don't think so? I'll do it for you. I'll do it for the sweet succulent taste of a red snapper upon thine lips, raw and unfettered. Robo it is. Robo oh, it is. I'm sorry, my friend. The fish cuts demand it. They demand it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Lobo. demand it. They demand it, Lobo. Don't you see? Don't you see the fish gods? I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. Uh, what have I become? A monster wrapped in the scales of my victims. A fisherman, unlike any other. Be alone, free. I was once great. And... She got demanded. A sacrifice of blood. Of a beloved friend. this round of fishing, I will claim my prize. For you, fish gods. Just keep providing me the succulent. You wish it sacrifice now. Lobo? Lobo, are you here? Lobo. Where are you, my friend? Ast Astrid? Where's Lobo? Leave me alone. Lobo. Oh, hi. Um, no...
Oh, shit. It's you again, Haru. Hey, why are you even talking to me, Haru? Let me help. I'm just hanging, man. I'm just hanging. Focus about that paint job I did on your roof. I painted it black like you told me to. Check it out. Huh? You never asked me to, but I thought you... Well, it's too late to worry about it now. Tell you what, though. Seeing as how it was my mistake, you don't have to pay me back or anything. Lucky you. Wah! Discord status said you were playing dolphin emulator, and I thought, boy, I'd like to emulate a dolphin that sounds nice. So Kanako, I'm sorry, you've caught me at a very delicate time. I was about to murder my friend Lobo until he painted my house black. Because you know what they say about that, right? They want to paint it black. His name is Lobo, and he wants to paint it black. He painted the roof of my house without my consent. He painted it a color and it's free of rent. A wolf in this town painted my house's roof black. Yeah, so kind of we're playing Animal Crossing more. We've we've uh we're sacrificing everything that we love, know and love dear to the fish gods, because there was an instance where we just were catching incredibly expensive fish over and over and over again, which is not common in this game. That is incredibly not normal, and me pleading to the fish gods to let this this boon stay, and now it's it's left me. Let it go. I thought, I thought, I truly thought that that boon would last forever. That my luck would never run out. Oh, the hubris. The hubris of a man hell-bent on the scaly stench of fish. Oh, now fish don't taunt me like this. Oh, you're too quick. Too quick. That fish was too quick. The hubris. In do hubris. That's that's the um that's the 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 bogus doppelganger. It's not about to humor. It's about to hubris. He's not friendly. He hates everything. He's salty. He's you know toxic. He's obsessed with fish that he'll kill his best wolf friend. I can't catch fish anymore. Can't. I've lost it. I got. I got the yips. My best friend, the wolf, gave me the yips. I don't know. Maybe I have to take a walk. I gotta take a walk. We gotta let it go. We gotta go sell these. And we're gonna take a walk. We're gonna take a walk. I gotta dump stuff off at the dump. It's fine. It's fine. The Bogus Meat Factory Evil Twin Veritable Vegetable Farm. Exactly. Veritable Veg- I gotta change the name to Veritable Vegetable Farm. Mahito tells me to drink water. Who do you think I am? Oh, yes, no. I'm Veritable Vegetable Farm. Drink water? I am drinking water. The water from the lips of the fish within which I catch. How's it going, Mahito? Kanaka, what have you been up to, my friend? What have you been doing? Besides me losing my mind. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're getting some stuff done. You're just... Ch or do getting stuff done that you want to get done. That you have set out to get done. That makes better sense. Hello, Thomas. I'm here to sell. No. No. Sorry, my friend. The walls run dry. A lot of... Sea bass and a couple barred knife jaw. 13,000 is still not shabby, right? I still... still got it. BVF doesn't quite have the same ring as BMF. It's true. Um, how about... Uh, hold on. Um, let's see.
it would be um real vegetable co-op rvc right a real vegetable co-op where's the where's where's the where's the where's the thing there's the hill there we go the real vegetable co-op rbc that's got a ring to it rbc supposed to save it. I'm supposed to save it because I'll be losing power soon. Theoretically. There's my shovel. Left dormant and bare. On the shores of an island I don't even call my own anymore. Who am I? What is it that I value? Not the slings of friendship. Instead, the arrows of betrayal. You. The tinkling of bells. The life of a fairy in my hand. I knew it. I knew it. I became the thing I hated. That amorphous, ever changing being. I became a tanuki. Greedy. Self-absorbed, capitalistic, and yet always changing in order to get what I want. And what is it that I want now, you ask? Salvation? Remittance? Perhaps even... Forgiveness? If only it were that All that I seek is more fish. More bits, And more blood. The bright red twinkling like stars in the sky, the sun erupt. Last gasping breath. Fish long dead. It was doomed from the start when it met me. Yes. Yes. Don't you see? Don't you all see? I am the Harbinger Girl of the of Death. I'm going to lose power, and I'm going to lose all of this fish money that I've earned. I know it will happen. If that happens, please. Make sure to remind me that for the rest of my life. With my hubris. Please. Remind me. Keep me humble. This is why I can't be in a manager position at Blockbuster, Dad. I might go off the deep end. You know, power hungry and mad. Oh, I know it. Don't you see? I am a monster. You all see me as this friendly, accepting, and understanding individual, but you don't see the real me. You don't see the beast. You don't see him. Inside clawing its way out. I've lost everyone. Uh, any person coming in at this without any context of what the hell is going on with me is, uh... Very concerned, I'm sure. <laughs> Genuine wheat harvestry. There you go. GWH. 
George W. Hush. Come on, fish. You know you want my bobber. Take my bobber, fish. Take my bobber. You like that bobber. Oh my god, he does like that barber. Bobber. I have I have a, a tongue twister for you all. I say this like every day now in my life. In an attempt to really grasp its its intricacies. Saying bobber just a second ago. Bobber. And that just reminded me of it, even though it's not even remotely related. Um Gosh, the tongue twister is paper towel tower. Say paper towel tower. Five times fast. I don't think you can. Paper, paper towel tower. Can't do it. It's impossible. It's impossible. The only way we can do it is if you sing it. I learned. I learned. If you sing it, it's easier. It's a paper towel tower. Tater tots with legs. The paper towel tower. Zebras wearing bras. It's a paper towel tower. But you can't say paper towel tower, like casually. I'm, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm cursed. I'm doomed. Papal, papal, papal tower terror. Yeah, see? It's impossible. It's impossible. Paper towel tower. I, I try every day. Um. That duck is doxing doxers. The duck is doxing doxers. Say that one. The duck is doxing doxers. People who dox. Come on, you see it. You see it, you know it. Your intimate understanding of the bobber calls to you, fish. I just went to pull it up and he turned around. I'm terrible at this fishing. I am so sorry. So sorry, chat, that you have to watch me go back and forth. Hoping for that good luck again. That streak. Uh, you know what? I gotta, I gotta sell this and I gotta save. I gotta sell it, save, and... <sighs> and then to see what everybody, how everybody else is doing in town. Gotta check on folks. Make sure they're doing okay. Gotta pay off some of my debt. Uh, spend an exuberant amount of money on things that I don't need just to fill out my catalog and get some some raffle tickets at the end of the month again my hubris it's just a freshwater goby go me goby How do you expect me how do you expect me to catch you if you're facing the wall? Nasty. The fishing gods have doomed me. They've cursed me. They gave me two boots and a two boots and a can. I'm ready to sell Tom. Again, no. No glory this time, Tom. A mere pittance. Won't even break 100,000 with this madness. No, nothing else to sell. I'm sorry, Tom. For I've sold it all. My friendship. My love. So, 
all sold for a mere 73,882 bells. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? My house roof is now black. Like my soul. He knew. He knew. Lobo knew in his heart of heart. He knew what would become of me. And he only made that simple reflection real. Okay. I don't even know what's in my pockets right now. Like, what's in those, those letters? I don't know. I have no idea. No clue. What pond. What's in the pond? Is it... Is it retribution? It's a can. It's a can. I can. Just gods. They they've doomed me. They've forsaken me. And what am I? But a naive child. I'm gonna cut this tree down. Out of anger. Oh, and get some bells apparently. Thank you. Let's do some landscaping. I, oh, I should. I, focus, 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 focus. You need to save, buddy. You need to save. I don't need to save. I need to push my luck and catch more fish. Focus, you gotta stop, man. What's wrong with that? I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Let's save real quick. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of landscaping. And then I'm going to go eat lunch. And everything's fine. Frigga, you sniff your own farts. Unlimited backlog. Go save. I'm going to try to. My friend, I'm trying. What do you think I'm doing? I'm trying. Um, I just caught an excessive amount of fish. Like, I caught... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 red snappers and barred knife jaws, like, in a row. In a row. I can't believe that. The fish apocalypse. And then I went to go sell it, and then when I came back, I caught sea bass, mostly. <laughs> I was so, so heartbroken. So heartbroken. Hold on, let me. Not you. Not today, my friend. How about you? Not you today, my friend. We're gonna do some, some, some cutting. We're gonna do some logging. Some log jamming, as they say. Oh yeah, you got, you all gotta be log jammed. Hold on, does this lead to the ramp? Yeah, you're all clear cut. This is, you guys are, this is not okay. You're all blocking the way. You all must go. How can anybody get to the ramp? None of you understand. We have a ramp to get to. You don't understand. We have a ramp to get to. You're blocking progress. Traffic. We need cars in this town. Roads. Did you get the fish? The fish got me, so gotta go. It got me, much like a Geppetto amidst the sea, searching for my little wooden boy. I got caught. <laughs> I got caught. I got caught. So many trees. There's so many trees. There's so many damn trees. They start you off with a lot. They give you an incentive to actually cut them down because they're like, there's just too many damn trees. The trees are too damn high. 
That one made a big fud. Why did that make a big fud? The fish swam up his leg and into his heart. Don't ask how it got into his body, but now it's just flopping away in the cockles. My cockles have been flippered. Does it give you wood to use? What game do you think we're playing? Animal Crossing? No, we're playing Animal Crossing! <laughs> What do you think this is? Is it gotta go? What do you think this is? Is that the tree I wanted to cut down? I don't know. Yes. I wanna cut this one down too. Um Animal Crossing New Horizon does that. They add a like a survival crafting element to the game. Which I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy that. I don't enjoy it at all. Like, it's, it's kind of sad. So, like, you can farm and craft food and, and furniture. I don't like it one bit. I played a couple of months of Animal Crossing on the Wii with an ex of mine and her kids. They were right into it. Um, so in this one, you can only farm fish. So, so what I was doing was just, I was grinding for bells. I was grinding for bells. Um, I had just gotten a fishing pole from another town that I visited from a friend online through Mastodon. And, um, so I, I, I was just doing that because I was getting really lucky. I was getting lucky and I was just pressing my luck. Um, I need to deposit some of these bells. They're weighing heavy on my heart. I own, I owe 148,000, yes, I know. I would like to pay almost half of that. Oops. I should log into Mastodon sometime. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Oh no! Good time? That sounds like a good time, I love Mastodon. That's, that's where my people are, the, like the super nerds. I enjoy it. I haven't gone to like Blue Sky or whatever. I ain't fucking never going back to X. Jesus. It's Twitter or whatever. X. I called it X like subconsciously. That's a problem. Why would I do that? What's wrong with me? That's how we keep the backlog unlimited. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, I love Animal Crossing and I just. I adore every second of this game and its vibes, and all of the games and their vibes, except for New Horizon, which I just don't enjoy. It's just not my thing. It's given me too many activities that I really don't like. And for me, that's, um, it's way, it's way too grindy for that. It's a game that's about collecting. It's a, it's a, it's a game about, co like, just checklists. And I don't, I don't like the checklist thing. I like setting up my own checklist. I don't want the game to tell me what check what I should be checking up, what I should be doing. Um, I very much prefer setting up to do my own thing, but I also like the relationships that you form with the with the the villagers and like their personalities and their their behavior and just kind of coming upon it and being surprised. Cool. I'm not gonna do a uh, thing. Astrid. Oh, Bokus, how nice I wanted to see you so very much. Astrid, I know. Astrid, I know. I know you want me right now. It's not okay. Just let me... Oh, Bogus, how nice I wanted to see you so very... I'm just... Astrid, I'm just trying to do my job here, Astrid. Astrid, I'm trying to do my job. Please. She's obsessed with me right now. Because I got cursed by a traveling fortune teller. That told me, hey, you'll get really, really lucky. Does the hole stay forever if you don't bury it? Yes. Unless somebody buries it. So the things that kind of come about the game is that it's meant to be played with other people as well. It's not supposed to be just you, even though it doesn't have a, a true blue real-time multiplayer. Um, so other people will get to come and inhabit the village and do stuff and change things and, and maybe bury stuff for me to find and discover. And like, oh, not you too, Maple. 
Oh, Bogus, I just can't believe I'm talking to you. I feel so honored, honey. Oh, my heart's pounding. There's no way I'm going to fall asleep tonight. Yes, I know, Maple. I know, I know, Maple. Please don't do this. Not today. Not today, Maple. Please, please. God. God. Katrina has cursed me. The ladies want some of this villager. My man. My manness. My humanness. So, um... And if you dig a hole, right, that's going to affect your overall town score as well. It makes it less um, attractive for villagers to move in. And there is a kind of a little sub-goal of getting, like, the perfect village. What they mean by that is that, like, having um, a good mixture of tree uh, density and uh, plants and stuff like that and uh, uh, flowers in all of your lots... I'm just chopping away, man. Um, and certain things, like, too, if you leave a, a stump, um, certain bugs are attracted to stumps. So, have fans managed to set up an open server for it? Well, this doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It's not online. This isn't online. It's all local. This is GameCube, baby. This is GameCube. OG GameCube. And so, people have to come in and, and like, play. Your humanus? Thankfully, it's not your huge anus. Going to the Abel sisters. Hey, Abel. Hey, Mabel. Abel's. Come on, Sable. Talk to me. I'm your friend. Please. She's shy. Let's make a design. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, what's our design? We're gonna make something. I'm gonna do the wave. Let's let's do the wave. Oh, I can change the size like that. Oh, oh! I didn't know. Oh, I can change all those. All right, it's been a long time, guys. Okay, please. Let's make a cool design. Oh, I don't want any of this. No, no, no. Here we go. Put out a new design, why not, right? Oops. Yeah, this seems crazy. Trust me. So I need to start pulling these guys in. A medieval Hungarian stomach pump. I'm sorry, what now? <laughs> I thought you said someone online gave you a fishing pole. Yes, yeah, sorry, Sakanago, sorry. How that worked was, so this is why I'm doing this the way that I am. So we're playing on an emulator, right? And so essentially how the game worked was you had your memory card on your GameCube, of course. Pop it in. That's your save. That's your town. Your other friends are playing Animal Crossing on their own home. They got their memory card with their save. That's their town. They come over. You put your memory card in slot A, you put their memory card in slot B, you now get a train that you can go to visit their town. They're not on it, they're not playing. 
but you can go visit their town, visit their villagers, engage in their, like, buy stuff from their store, because they might have items that you don't normally get. Um, fish, see their, um, see their, you know, what they've got collected at their museum, make some fashion designs that you can put in their, in their place, uh, that sort of thing. And then, uh, villagers can also swap. So, like, uh, one of my villagers will move into their town if I visit there. And they'll come with the letters that you sent them, um, all that other sort of stuff. And, uh, and so what they did online, because it's an emulator, they played it on an emulator with their friends. So they just gave me the memory card, uh, data. I popped that into slot two in this to that, and there you go. And then, do I make this? That is white. Okay, that's what white is. What do I make this background color be? I wear red. I'm gonna do some red. Red. Let's see how red looks. Mm, it's kind of clashy. Cozy. Let's just see how it does. No, no, no. This is not working. Undo. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong thing. That's palette. That's not undo. Whoops. I guess I just fill it in with this. Have to wait. Um. No, let's let's see what it does when we do it black. Can we can we do this black? And how does that look? Let's see. Does it come through okay as a black shirt? Translates well. Why not? Pen pal gaming. Yes, Akanako. Yes! Yes, you get it. You get it. Okay, that's that's yeah, that's exactly it. That's kind of the point. Alright, we're ready. It's a great design. What would you like to call it? Um Amoeba. It's just a bunch of shapes. And don't forget to give me back my black t-shirt. What song is that one? Alright. Where am I putting Amoeba? Um, Amoeba's going over this, this melon one. Ugh. What song is that? I do not know that song. Ice cream. Let's call that design the ice cream vendor. Ugh, display mine. pretty cool dumped oh Ben Folds 5 is fantastic yeah what am I doing I was supposed to only stream for like an hour and it's been it's been freaking a decade there we go so we got it a new one amoebas amoeba has been added it's removed and replaced ice cream vendor sorry ice cream vendor that's not a good design One more for good luck. One more for good luck. You know you want to. It's okay. Shh. Marcus, it's okay. You can do this. You can do this. It's it's fine. You're not going to get hurt. No one's getting hurt from this. You're just doing a little fishing. No one is getting hurt. Okay? Your friends, they still like you. They're here. They're fine. The sea may demand blood, but you don't have to give it to it, okay? You're in charge. Have a good... Oh my gosh, Minty. Go to sleep. Get some rest, my friend. Thank you for hanging out the whole time. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. You'll be getting it soon. I'm I'm terrified. I'm terrified what... I am I'm both excited and terrified what everyone's going to do with this town. Because, like... I... 
Just have to let things go. Red snapper, baby, let's go. Just gonna walk over here, walking in this direction. I, I have to let go in life. I have control issues. My only, my only request is that people don't just like grind it all out. I love, people love to do this. Like they love to like, oh, I got it for a week. I have now donated everything in the, the museum's full, you know? And like, oh, I've got a time travel. I have to time travel. And I have to pay off my house in a day. Um, and oh, you know, like I have to, I have to collect everything. And th that's why I did it in like the week blocks. So that way a person playing who does kind of want to grind it out with like fish and things isn't doing so at the detriment of other people. Um, cause like somebody wants to come into Tomnick store and it's like, well, I can't do anything cause he bought the shovel and I don't have, there's no tools for sale. So like, that's it. I can't buy anything. Yay. Um, like that's also part of why I did this the way that I did with the original GameCube Animal Crossing. Um, but like, I get scared that like the whole place is going to be like destroyed. And I don't think any of you are going to do that. Like, anyone who's going to be playing is going to do that. But there's always just a part of me that's like... What if they just, like, put weird design... Like, build roads. Like, like street roads. Like, I like my little... I like my little town, my little village. Like, my little... My little... Country village. I don't want... I don't want city streets. I don't want this to be a city. If I do that, I'm going to go play city folk. You know? Take the bus in. Captain will take me. Can I please get this fish for the love of God? Can you just can you just get caught? Thank you, fish gods. Thank you, fish gods. What a snap. Um I I feel like one of the, like, having things develop too fast, I think, is, is kind of more my, my thing. Like, I don't want someone to, like, generate or make a bunch of town saves so that we can get all the fruit, you know? And, like, oh, I don't want to manipulate the systems so I get the villagers that I want is kind of the, is the big thing. I don't want to manipulate the systems to get the stuff that I want. Like, I want to let it happen naturally. Get what we have and play with what we have. And, like, in terms of, like, development and design of, like, the town and kind of, like, really customizing it big time, like, we just started. Let's get our feet wet. Let's, you know, let's explore the world, explore the villagers, let our town kind of grow naturally. And at the point that it kind of hits max capacity of, like, the 15 or 16 villagers that we get, like, from there, then we start talking about, like, how do we want to actually, like, present this town? Like, how, if we... How do you want to build this for other people to see? What would you what would you like this place? What's the theme going to be? If there is one. Otherwise, we're just kind of playing it, you know, right now. And that's that's what I want to do. It's just, you know, just happen naturally. I love building storylines in my head, my head canon of villagers and their be their like behavior. Oh my god, it's back. It can't be back. It can't be back. You're not doing this to me right now, game. You're not doing this to me right now. I've got three red snappers, and that's all I'm going to catch. I'm not going to catch any more. We're not... We're not... Um, It's going to be a sea bass here, right? It's going to be a sea bass here. If it's a if it's a red snapper or a barred knife jaw... Uh, I didn't catch anything. But if it's a red snapper or a barred knife jaw, and the next one that I get... We're going to have a problem, game. We're going to have a problem, you and me. Because I know I won't have that luck again. That it will be gone. It will betray me. Thank you for the sea bass. Thank you for the sea bass. That's enough. Now I can take a step back. I'm walking away. Walking away. Walking away. We got the sea bass. One more thing. What's up, Minty? Yes. Are you doing the feng? Yes, I will be. But I'm going to let the. I don't know the feng shui stuff. I don't know what, how it works. I've never really looked into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the villagers tell me. Like, I want the villagers, because they do tell you. They inform you. And so I want them to inform me naturally. You know? Like, let it... Let it just happen. Um... Because when I played this, I... I didn't... 
you know, I didn't do the, I didn't do like the optimal play style and I barely engaged in a lot of the things. What I did as a kid was I just did the fishing. I just did the fishing. I don't even think I paid off my house. I just fished a lot and that's it. And I never really engaged with a lot of things. Anna, how are you today, by the way? Good to see you again. You like the stone couches in Ico? Yes. Um, you you missed me having a uh, uh, a dramatic moment where I may have sac attempted to sacrifice my best friend Lobo uh, to the fish gods because I was getting so lucky with my fish. And uh, I may have lost my mind temporarily. So, uh, <laughs> glad you missed that one. <laughs> I'm glad you missed that one. Um... We had, um, I, so, I visited a town yesterday, not on stream, the person asked me not to, because they had a bunch of other people that played it, and they played this back in 2021, where they got three friends to play together. The town was very cool, I will add, and I visited it twice, so we lost two villagers, but we got one, Maple the Bear, we got them from their town, um, I think, I think they had Maple the Bear. And, uh, go to sleep before I put you to sleep, Minty. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Minty. Um, but I, uh, we got it. We got a new one. Um, so I got to find you. There's my, there we go. I got, I got stuff to, to turn in. Oh, shoot. I need to shoot. Cookie. Lobo. Like a Bob home. Um, let's take out all these presents because I don't know what I have in these presents right now. I'm just using them for storage. That's what I'm doing right now. We gotta write some letters. Let's see. My my backup axe. I gotta use up my axe so I can free up a space. So I got a Nintendo, I got a dainty parasol and a Nintendo, what does a Nintendo parasol look like? Oh, it's like the old, the old school Nintendo name in Japanese. Cool. I have a shovel I need to bury too. I forgot about that. Thank you. Weren't you following already, Anna? <laughs> Thank you for the follow again. Not me forgetting to do this last time. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Um, love you, Bob. Sorry, that litter is not that great. Mitzi. No, I. you're mad at me for that letter. Sorry, Mitzi. It's going goodbye. Thanks, for letter. Bob didn't understand the letter. Sorry, Bob. Okay. Um, but that's very kind of you. Thank you so much for the follow. That is very, very nice of you. Uh, we're gonna, we're just writing letters, uh, to the museum. They don't mean anything. I am, I'm, I planned on doing this and I didn't. And I will probably rectify that. I'm a giant dork. I'm a giant dork who loves to like do stupid, slightly inconveniencing things just to help me with my immersion. And I'm playing Animal Crossing. I will add so that that adds to the level of dorkiness. Like I will literally, the moment I get a fossil, I need to like write the letter and tell them like the location of where I found it is on plot number such and such and such in the town of such and catalog it correctly for them because for some reason I think that that will be more convenient for them even though they don't respond or react to that in any way, but I still have to do it. <laughs> I still have to do it. Hi Pelly, I'm mailing you letters. To the museum, please. They only respond with three, so like, there's no reason to mail more out than the three, because they'll only send me back three. Um, but I do need to write some letters to some other folks too. I wonder. Oops. So, I can only send it to the folks that are here. I was wondering if I could send them to the people of the other town. I have a task to go to the other place and deliver a thing to Cookie. And I'm starting to, like, by playing this on emulator and engaging in all of the systems, 
I'm starting to wonder and question like how far can you push this where you would break the game in a weird way? What I mean is like, what if I copied this memory card data into a second memory card data and then visited the town that is mine? That there is two Rengas, two Boguses, all the same villagers. Can you have a village that has two of the same villagers? Can you have a village that just consists of a singular villager that is a bunch of just the same one if i make copies and copies and copies what how insane can you make this writing a letter to yourself the exact same data so like would that work would it break on you i don't know i visited that town in fallout new vegas which one i'm oh i'm so i'm so out of it today Oh, the flame shirt. I gotta make the flame shirt for, um, never yeah, a letter. This is stereotypical. Hi, Lobo. The town of Gary. Oh, Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Yeah. No, it's not Gary, Indiana, but you know what I mean. Um. You. Are. Hot. I bought you a flame shirt to represent as such. Everyone is Gary. They're all Garys. I wrote good luck to someone else previously. I don't know what I wrote to them. It said good luck. Um... Your friend. You're hot, Lobo. Just letting you know, man. Just so you know. Like, cool. Fallout 3 was... Oh, that's right. The vault that was all Gary's. It was a vault, right? It wasn't a town. It was a vault that was all Gary's. You could correct me if I'm wrong. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Airy shirt. What is this? Wallpaper. Um, wood paneling. No. Dainty parasol. Who's going to get the dainty parasol? We don't really have any dainty folks right now. We've got Maple, who's a Southern Belle in my brain. She says, honey, she's she's a Southern Belle. Of course she gets the dainty parasol. Seeing the look of this game is making me think of this little horror game I've seen recently that's like a mix of old school Animal Crossing and Mario Kart. It's called Kitty Kart 64. This was technically... Oh, there's my rankings, by the way. You can see my rankings of how I ranked all my villagers. And for some reason, it is locked in. Why can't I... There we go. Thank you. Um, all right, let me see. What is Kitty Cat 64? A kitty Cart. I'm I'm not I'm not smart. I can't type. Kitty Cart 64. Oh. Oh, really? Look at this. Hold on. Wink. Go away. This is my spot. Does it have this CRT filter? Or is this them taking a picture of their screen? Con Connor HTW. Whoa. It's like it's like a little bit of um. It's like a little bit of Diddy Kong Racing. You know, meets a little bit of um. The Diddy Kong Racing meets like a Mario Kart meets horror meets a little bit of Animal Crossing. I like it. 
That's cool. Um, yeah, let's get maple. What? Hold on. I love bring. Cherry blossoms. Are in bloom. The festival's in just two days. you a this is how you write good letters you have to be very specific in what you're writing so like if i'm getting them a dainty parasol let them know that i'm getting them a dainty, dainty parasol mention the town mention other villagers specifically mention the museum mention tom nooks like you have to kind of talk about animal crossing stuff and like feelings and your your spelling oops parasol Got you a dainty parasol. Hope you like it. And my problem is that I I I have to dumb down my writing dramatically. I'm a very verbose person. And a very dramatic writer. <laughs> so like, I'm like, I love spring. The cherry blossoms are so colorful. I got you a dainty parasol. I hope you like it and use it for picnics. Like, that's how I have to write this when I have to write to the villagers. For them to like it. Because they won't they won't like it. I don't understand what you wrote. What the hell was that? And uh, but if you are dainty about it, if you're if you're light and simple, they typically will respond. I get weird sometimes in my letters. So like I, I also enjoy being weird with my letters too. But like you know, it's what twelve? It's twelve o'clock. Um, all right. So I got an axe. I gotta I gotta grind. I gotta use up. We gotta find some things to cut. I gotta buy some more stationery because I'm out. Yeah, this is a good spot to cut. Sorry about this, uh, Bob. I'm chopping your tree down. Doesn't hit your house, so timber! Oh, it did! I'm sorry, Bob! Oh my god! Bob! Are you here, Bob? I don't think you're here. He's not in right now. Thank God. Okay, okay. I'm not. I'm not leaving a card. Nope. Nope. Sorry. That was um. It was the wind. It was the wind, Bob. It was the wind. It's it's fine. It's just a really windy spring day. Okay. My axe broke. It's fine. Let's hope he doesn't sue us for damage. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Are you gonna tell him, Anna? Are you gonna tell him? You know what they say about snitches? They get new britches. Please don't tell him. He's a cool cat. I really like him. I don't want him to be mad at me. I'm telling no one. Good. No one no one clip that and send that to Bob, okay? He'll be so upset with me. He'll be so upset with me that I chopped a tree down on his house. Alright, what am I doing? I'm going to buy stationery, which means I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Hey, Bob! You're home! Hey, buddy. Um... No, no, I'm, I'm, oh, we're fine, we're fine. Hi. You okay, buddy? Hey. What do you need? Huh? Oh, nothing. Uh, anything I can help you with, buddy? Oh, I've only gotten here sooner, man. I didn't have something, but now I don't. 
Entertain me, dude. I found this piece of furniture in my room the other day. I tripped over it, to tell the truth. I don't have a clue who left it there, man. All kind of freaks me out that it's been in my room. <laughs> Folks, would you do me a favor and buy this cabana screen from me? <laughs> yeah, I'll buy it, dude. I'll, I'll buy that cabana screen. Thank you. Thank you for the cabana screen. I won't need it. I don't, I don't make cabanas, but... I'm sure now that this cabana screen was destined to become yours, Bogus. Yep. Destiny, bro. It's so deep. It's so deep, Bob. Please don't sue me. Okay, I gotta go buy stationery. I'm gonna go send Bob that cabana screen. <laughs> I, hey, I just found this cabana screen. It, it just it screamed you, Bob. Parchment. Okay. Like basic stuff. What is the water floor? Floor is eight mat tatami. Yeah, let me see it. Ooh. I'll buy it. This it goes in my catalog, right? That's what I'm. I'm really doing. Like I don't have time for to a tatami mat right now, but like, no, that is too groovy. Too groovy. I can't buy it. Too groovy. What kind of shirt is this? This is a circus shirt? Mm-mm. No. No, I don't like it. I don't like that circus shirt. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. Um, here, Tom. I have something for you. Uh, here, buy some things, because I don't... I'll, I will get them later when I want them. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, buy the BB shirt. Cabana screen, wood panel. Buy the wood paneling. I don't need the wood paneling. That's that's ridiculous. Um, buy the tatami mat. Yeah. I'm saving the cabana screen because I know that the island villager dude, I think, wants cabana stuff. I think. The island, dude. What you been playing, Anna? What games do you play? I, I I don't think we've asked this question. If you're still around, and again, if you're totally busy, that's totally okay. I totally understand. Uh, what sort of games do you like to play? I love hearing folks talk about games. For me, it's everything. <laughs> like, you know, my favorite games are Mist Online, Uru Live, The Mist MMO, Virtual Fighter series. I love fighting games of Virtual Fighter. Shenmue. The Shenmue series is really great. I love the Quest for Glory adventure game series. I love adventure games. Um, and Lost Lost online games. Um, stuff that you can't play anymore. Like uh, Dark Sun Crimson Land, Crimson Sands, which is uh, an old PC game from 1995 that was an online RPG um, set in the Dark Sun universe from Dungeons and Dragons, which is really cool. And I dig that a bunch. Um, it's it's coming back though. Someone's working on it for the private server. My dreams are coming true. Um, I I love all sorts of games. I just I love everything. A lot of my favorite games are games I haven't played personally, but I've watched let's plays of on YouTube. No, that's hey, kind of how I experience this, right? Is that everybody has different values? What is it you value from a game, right? For some people, they just value pure gameplay. That's what they value. Right? And that's fine. There are people who value story. There's people that value social things. And a whole and of course there's always kind of the more specific elements of all of those, you know, broad categories. And like watching a let's play, right? Or watching somebody on Twitch, even, right? Playing a game. Uh, for a lot of folks, it's, for some folks, it's, I want to see them play this game that I love and, and adore, and how do they react to it? Like, how do they experience it? Kind of see it with fresh eyes from another person's perspective. Or, like, I just want to come in and hang out and talk with folks. And, or I just want to have a nice sound in the background. And those are all perfectly valid. And there's a lot of people who are like, I want to experience games passively. I don't have the time to play all the games. So, like, I'm going to go do work while I listen and watch somebody play, you know, a game that I'm interested in. But I, I just, I don't have the time to play anymore. 
you know, if it just busy. And like, those are all valid. And it drives me crazy when people kind of mock that, that, that perspective, that, that different, that person, like personal interest. For a lot of folks, that's all they can do. And that's okay. You don't have to physically be in control of the game to experience a game. Like, uh, when we play adventure games, when we play, like, text adventure games and stuff like this, if you've never played the game before, or, and don't have a guide in front of you, like, you come in, and you're, you're more than welcome to be like, hey, what's that? Like, wh what was that thing over there? And like, oh, I think that that's gonna be used for this, and like, people, you, like, communally brainstorming and solving puzzles together, because that's part of the magic of that stuff. That's the stuff I love. Um, and then I also love just people who like to just come in and just have a cup of coffee and just chill and like lurk. Like, that's totally okay. It's wild to me that, oh my, yeah, my, my, I, uh, Katrina the fortune teller has, um, did my fortune and said that essentially the ladies are going to love me. And so all the female Animal Crossing villagers were following me around and telling me how awesome I am. And it was cre it was very creepy. A few of my favorite games are Undertale. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Devil May Cry 5. Ooh. Insomniac Spider-Man games. God of War. Life is Strange game series. All fantastic. All fantastic. <clears throat> Undertale is... Mm. I can't wait for people to figure that one out. J-Ra, dude! J-Ra, you love this game, J-Ra? You love this game? I got you. I think I have my memory card somewhere. So listen, j Rob. we're doing something a little different. j Rob, j -Rob is a, a, an oldie but a goodie to the channel. How are you, my friend? I hope you're doing well, by the way. Let me tell you something, j Rob. we're doing something a little different with Animal Crossing, just a little different. It's a little weird. Um, So we're playing on emulator, but with the goal in mind is, um, I have three friends who are going to take it as well and play it. But it's a little different. I play for a week. I pass it off. They play for a week. Pass it off. So on and so forth. Four week cycles. Comes back to me on the um, the fifth week. So week five is mine. Um, and we're just passing the memory card around to everybody. Uh, of course, it's it's Dolphin. So we can just email it to each other. Um, and letting it go and letting other people play it and and experience it and share stuff so like they can leave little scavenger hunts for the next person and we have little rules involved like whoever has it for the last day of the month um everybody has to put their raffle tickets on the gyroid um and have it for free so that person the last at the last day of the month goes and does the raffle tickets for everybody holidays are hey if you've got the holiday you know that's yours um and then when the next year starts we'll make sure that the schedule is a rotation where other people get to experience it if they want to. And Dolphin now has GBA connection support, so we can go to the Tropical Island. We can play that Tropical Island mini game, uh, like mini game, and actually utilize its features fully. Um, and if somebody wants to have a town, play it on Dolphin. Uh, give us the memory card. You want us to visit? We will visit. I want to use the features that the game has to its fullest and allow people to be able to connect in that way because it was a those are features that were rarely used because of distance and time even for kids right um and there were special things that happened in the original animal crossing that would happen if you traveled that you don't get anywhere else um and i want to showcase those things because we don't see them you know, nobody engages with the tropical island. Nobody engages with the multiplayer aspect of things. People treat Animal Crossing as a single player game. And only once in my life did I ever treat Animal Crossing as a single player game. And that was when I had Wild World on the DS. Because, um, no, not even then. I never treated Animal Crossing as a single player game. I always had somebody to interact with. Somebody in the town, another player playing in the town, uh, in every game, that uh, every version of it. And ones that had online stuff, 
I would use that and I would interact with people in that in uh, city folk. I did that in uh, and I did it with local multiplayer in wild world, right? Cause it had local, it had local, it had the gates. Um, and I did it with new leaf. Absolutely. And in new horizons too. Um, but yeah, so if you ever want to, and our only rules for those sorts of things is like, if you're making a, a, a town of your own, like appropriate letters to villagers, please. And like, no, you know, no inappropriate content in your stuff. That's all, you know? Anna says, I have Undertale on my laptop and my Switch and still haven't played it. I started to play it on a friend's laptop back in high school, and it was our special interest bringing us closer as friends. Even 3D printed me, Frisk, and Asriel from the game. We've drifted apart since then, but I connect him and the games together. And that's incredibly valuable, right? That's the sort of stuff that I like to talk about with people about what is it that you're getting out of this game? Do you have to, do you have to play it to get value from it, right? And for a lot of folks, it's connections, it's memories, it's those special uh, bonding. And that's that's incredibly valuable. That's far more valuable than saying, I beat this game. Like to say, haha, I have the achievement. I beat the game. It's hard. It's a hard game. I beat it. For me, that's far more valuable. Um, and so when I was streaming, I've been streaming now for, like, you know, over 10 years now, over 10 years, which is crazy to me. Um just these last like couple years i was like i'm starting to not remember the games i've played because <laughs> i've been playing so many and i was like i need to do something to kind of entrench those games into my memory and so that's why i started like making bad ms paint artwork for all of the games that i play so that way i have something tangible to, be to look back at and go i played this game i beat it yes please do not turn your villagers into neon yahtzees uh, 50 years in streaming years. It's true, Kekola Cola. I'm, well, I'm 40, so, you know, this makes all sense, right? I'm an old man. Um, but, no, Anna, to your point, though, like, uh, Undertale, like, that is a game that is all about connections. It is a game all about connections. And it's, it's wild, because Undertale has a very, like, fickle fan base, a very dedicated fan base that also is very, like, charged because they're very like uh possessive of it it's it's theirs and so for a lot not no, that's not for everybody of course that's making a generalization i i realize that but like for a lot of folks um undertale's so special that like if people don't experience it the exact same way they do they have somehow sullied it in its spirit and like that goes against everything that undertale represents it's so wild to me that there are some folks that are like that um and it, it hurts my heart because that is a really, a genuinely brilliant game. Kakaloko says, For what it's worth, my attempt at streaming games to be going to my comfort games and let my brain run on autopilot. You know what? I love that. I love that too. There's so many, that's what makes streaming so special and people playing games and connecting in any way so special is because there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. There's no wrong way to stream a game. Do it on a hot tub, hot tub. do it, you know, do it, uh, do it with a green screen on your butt. Do it, uh, you know, a game you've never played before. Do it a game you've played a million times. Speed run the game, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. Do it the way you want. And just oops wow also undertale came to, out during the time when i was very depressed at 13 14 and it sort of healed my soul in a way that is so great i mean because it yeah when you're a uh a, a, a teenager and a preteen and like th those times your emotions are all over the place and you're trying to not only understand yourself understand other people but also like dealing with like the realities of life are now start you're more aware of them all of those things are hard man and and having a guiding force to be like hey shit's going down for you right now it's gonna be okay like, hey do you want to just hang out do you want to have a cup of hot co like hot cocoa and just like chill in the sentence of music? Do you want to lay down with a ghost and just breathe? And like, how great is that feeling? 
change your name a million times, confuse your viewers on a regular basis, show up with a devil puppet. There's no wrong way to stream if you're doing you. Unlimited Backlog knows this very well. Change your name a million times. Confuse your viewers on a regular basis. I have not seen the devil puppet. Did you do a devil puppet on Limited Backlog? And can we do a co-stream, please? Do you mean have a bad case of diarrhea? You have a... Come on now, man. Come on now. I've got a mermaid. I got my king. I've got a, a nurse who currently does not have any clothes on. That's my children's doing, not mine. Um, And I have a pirate. His name is Stan with a silent... Oh, okay, with a silent A. Satan with a... Er, uh, Satan. 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 Is it, is it Satan? With, a, with an invisible A? Or is it a silent A? So it's Stan. Ooh, Stan. I see. I see. I'm on to you. Um... Yeah, that's just King Saltine, because I played King's Quest with him. So it's King Graham. What about your tiger wang? Yeah, what about your what about your tiger wang? Kako Cola brings up a great point. What about your tiger wang? I, I need to watch more of your streams. That's my problem. I need to watch more. I have no idea what you're talking about. I love it. I'm I can't wait. I can't wait on limited backlog. You know what I like? You know what I love the most? You need to follow unlimited backlog by the way they they're they stream more in the kind of the daytime ish they're kind of a more daytime or late night kind of version canadian my condolences the one thing i love the most about you the one thing i love the most about you is that you're willing to take a bet nobody's willing to take a bet that spirit of like hey i bet you this is going to happen and you know, and you're always willing to take a bet, and it is my favorite thing. It is my favorite thing. Frigo? Uh, it's you, Bogus. Uh, hmm? Just a moment ago, I felt so desperate to see you that I thought I'd quite lose my mind. But now I could care less. Now, why should that be? How strange. <laughs> Thanks, Frigga. Good. See you. Goodbye. Ugh. Is it's fun. We currently have a, a bet right now. That is, uh, that um, the new Wolverine game will have. Is it will have a season pass? Was that what we said? It will have a season pass. Was that the bet? The new Wolverine game will have a season pass, or was it that it will have, like downloadable cosmetics or was it like a it said battle pass but it's pretty is it, yeah battle pass season pass you know what that means when i say battle pass you know what that means um and if it does they have to play the wolverine nes game and beat it beat it i believe it was beat it and if it doesn't i have to beat the wolverine nes game i won my previous bet so on a technicality, I think. I think I just got lucky. I'm walk. I'm just walk. I'm wandering right now. Why am I wandering? Because I'm just too busy jabbering on. At least Wolverine NES got some good jams in it. It's true. It does have that at least. Just chopping down trees. I'm walking around for no reason. I am listless at this moment. Um. I gotta go put my raffle tickets away. Take hey, anything good at this at the. Awesome found. Could have ended up playing Wolverine Adamantium Rage. That's true. Oh, we got some we got some more um got some more stuff here. More uh I'll take that. Rainy day paper? Yeah. Then what is this shirt? What is this shirt? Um gelato shirt? Mm. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave that stuff for you guys. I'm not too much of a fashionista. I'll leave that for other folks. I might put though my oops use how's that look on my clothes oh i look great i look like a giant i look like vomit jeff fullen was the composer for nes wolverine that explains a lot yeah i underestimated ren i thought he had better taste you're wrong my friends 
the uh the Genesis Shadow One is better. It's just better. It's just better. Although I do appreciate Sakanakao making the uh mouse support for um SNES Shadow Run. That makes the game more palatable. I don't want to talk to you, Frigga, but I'm gonna to talk to where's where's uh Astrid? Where did Astrid go? Astrid, how are you? Ah, oh, dear Bogus, have you already lunched, my pet? Because I believe I hear your belly. But let's get right to the point. What can I do for you, my pet? Oh, that's right. She doesn't have the southern accent. Damn it. What's going on? An item I ordered from the general store got delivered today. I finally have a table with four matching chairs. It's so very nice to have a match set, my pet. Bogus, if there are any furniture pieces you want, you should order them through the store. Thank you, Astrid. Goodbye, Frigga. I'm never talking to you again. Lobo, what's up, dude? Hey, Bogus, uh, what is it, Ow? Oh, yeah, so what do you want? Uh, can I help out? Nothing. Got nothing. Not a zero zip zilch. Sorry, but try again later. Ow. Could you imagine Super Scope such minister support for Shadowrun, though? Shooting things to, in the UI to select them? That would be cool. Played his mouse patch with a couple of different SNES mice and the one-handed controller from um, Assy. Assy? 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 Do people say Assy or do they say Assy? Because, like, I say Assy. It's Assy. Because it's just, it's just a little Assy. I'm talking to you because I'm bored. Pop quiz. Tell me which fish is worth more at next store. Piranha or colored carp? Piranha, baby! Good answer! He buys those for 6,500 bells a pop. I hear there's another kind of fish that he pays even more for. Oh! Some ancient, legendary fish thing. Thank you for that. You say assy, but I kind of flip-flop between the two. Or say both. Guy was says assy. Yeah, it's, it's assy. It's like acai berry. You know? Asky berry. Okay, I need I need to save. We need to I need to have lunch. I have stuff to do. I have a life to live. I've got to stream again tonight too. I'm gonna chop these dang trees down though. I'm in a tree chopping mood right now. Um. Yeah, I, I just I see it as assy. I don't know why. I don't even. My brain, let me tell you this. Assy is ASCII, ASCII, ASCII is one of the most uh, amorphous concepts in my brain. There are days when I'm like, it's just font. Right? It's just symbols. What is it? And then my, I, I never, I never get a secure concept in my brain. That's pretty sad. <laughs> it's pretty sad, to be honest. It's programming mumbo jumbo. I don't know. What? What is that? All right. So the fifth through the seventh. So on Friday, and Friday the Sunday. So that's great because that means that our boy Minty is gonna get the some of it too. Not gonna miss the holiday. Oh, it even shows like what days you the days you played. That's so cool. Um, yeah, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's awesome. Like the old saying, ask these stupid questions, get a stupid an- Oh! Ask these stupid questions, get a stupid antsy. There you go. You take the red pill, I show you the real ASCII. Show me your ASCII. Give me the key to your ass. As they would say. As they would say. Look at my house. Look at this mess of a house. The library, the classy floor, the plants on stools, the pink flamingo, and the weight bench, and the punching bag. It's some gyroids that bees and bump. And the <laughs> Worf April Fool Super Totemer isn't an NES game. The Super Totemer NES game. That isn't one. <sighs> All right. We gotta, we gotta stop. We gotta stop before I lose my mind, which I already, I'm already doing. I literally was like, hey, they tell me I'm gonna lose power soon. Uh, at some point at a moment's notice, they're like, hey, you might lose power and it will be for a couple hours. It's like, oh shit, well I gotta do my Animal Crossing. I gotta play Animal Crossing. 
and before we lose power. And I was like, okay, well, I'll play for like an hour. I'll go and check my mail. I'll go see what Tom Nook has at the store. I'll go, you know, see if we have a new villager, that sort of thing. And I was like, oh, well, then I'll just stream it. And then I end up jibber jabbering for what? Almost three full hours? <laughs> Almost three full hours? Oh! I got shit to do, man. And I got to stream later tonight. Actually stream tonight. Like a scheduled stream. Um, so, yeah. I'll be back tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern playing Spellcasting 101. So, it's a Legend Entertainment graphical text adventure um, made by Steve Moretzky, who is one of my all-time favorite game designers. Um, yes. j Ross. So, it's just North American Animal Crossing Dolphin Emulator. You know, hook me up with your um, your memory card uh, data when you want me to send it, uh, when you want me to visit, or whoever is visiting. We have in the Discord. I don't know if you're still in the Discord. Um, we do have a section for Animal Crossing stuff. So, uh, where for neighbors, for people in other towns, um, to share stuff about it. So, if you would like to share screenshots, tell us what you have, that sort of thing. Um, but it's all there for people who, who want to kind of engage in that and, and play this game with us. Alongside, this is a long-standing project with my good friend Keyglyph, my good friend Bundle Minty, my good friend Coding in Quarantine, um, and a great way to just kind of play this game in a different way. So uh, let's go find who's on again tonight. Spellcasting 101. Friday is Gothic and probably a little bit of Animal Crossing just to show the holiday. Um. Not a lot of folks on. We're going to say hi to Sakura. Of course we're going to go say hi to Sakura. Sakura's playing Alpha Protocol again. We're rating them because they are the nicest person on the planet. And they are a longtime moderator here. And they just started streaming back in December. Awesome people. I can't type. So of course we're rating Sakura. They're the best human being on the planet. They're the greatest of lizard folk. Bam. Okay. I'll see you all tonight. Thank you for all coming in. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, thanks for uh, stopping by again, Anna. By the way, I really do appreciate the conversation. And Undertale is a fantastic game. Thank you for coming in and, and chatting about it. I really do. That was a good conversation. I very much like that. Um, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Or tonight. Not tomorrow night. Tonight. And as always, the humor. Farewell. we hitting the button. Fa, 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 fa. Fa 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 You say I'm just a punk and useless junk I'll say I can hang on just a little bit more I still can walk I just can't run But if you Don't need me Don't me anytime Oh, I'm turning back the clock I'm turning back the clock Oh, I'm a man who can't join the flock How pathetic My life is